everybody. Let's get this ready to go. Gotta change my stream info. <sighs> Figured it was a good night for a late night stream. Um, we've been calling our streams, affectionately calling them live building. We're doing build studies today, build studies and design planning. Should be good. I believe it's good. Gotta tweet this out. Oh, I'll be back. Hello, Tate. Not quite a sub reveal or face reveal. I think they've seen my face before. I'm not sure. <clears throat> Tate, do you get notifications to your phone when I start streaming? You're always on point, that's for sure. All right, let's tweet out that I'm streaming. Late night. <clears throat> Ugh, I need a drink. I, you do. I wonder how many other people get notifications. I'm actually, my goal, I had two goals my soft goal was to have um, 30 subs a month, and I've been doing that for two months now, so a sub a day. My hard goal was 300 by the end of the month. Not there yet, but may end up short. Late night, hashtag live building. Is that? I hate hashtags. I'm gonna get rid of the hashtag. Live building. I will live stream. Late night live stream. Working on. Also face cam. Make sure that actually went out. Hey, are you liking all of my tweets? <laughs> no, why doesn't it update the title? 
<laughs> Don't make six accounts. You can get in trouble for that. Oh, phone, hello. Where'd my phone go? Oh well, they don't need me that bad, probably. All right. Let's get it ready. All right. So, next area we're working on is some sort of city, Imperial City. I'm back in one point, I just reinstalled Twitter. I I don't really like Twitter. I use it for the sake of the channel. Randomly tweet stuff at Zach sometimes. Um, Back in 1.7, because I wanted to check out a world I saw. I was looking around on the YouTubes. Ooh, don't need that high. This is pretty small. Holy crap. Load in. I was looking on the YouTubes at build time lapses, and I saw this place. What video? Um, a uh, stone wall tutorial, detailed tutorial. Come on, everything loading. Where is where's my FPS? This is the old version of Minecraft. Haven't seen this in a while. I changed my allocated memory. I don't know if you can see FPS on this version. Am I blind? Oh, FPS. Why do I have... Oh, 36. I was like, two. No, that's chunk updates. All right. I should be good. So this is um, not not really a city. Okay, let's turn the... It's probably... I don't know. It might be this texture... Yeah, texture pack. It doesn't fit the version that we're in. See what it looks like without it. I'm just here to take notes, see if there's anything that I like. Get some ideas for my next area, because this isn't a city, but it has some nice building aspects. This does not look as good in default texture pack. Um, I really like their trench here. I don't think I'd do anything like that, though. I'm gonna turn back on the trick uh, to the resource pack. See how it was supposed to be built or supposed to be viewed. All right, um, I'm going to grab some emerald blocks and I'm gonna kind of mark them around anywhere where I see any details I think are interesting or useful. Like this is diamond more. None of them pop out a whole lot in this texture pack. I think this is really interesting. I don't know what it is, like an archer perch on the wall. That's cool. That's an interesting detail. I want to see how they organize streets, how they fill streets. Um, looks like this is a common theme throughout. Yeah, they just did this all over at equal intervals. Um, what is, okay, I thought that went somewhere. Can you actually go in the wall? Hmm, curious. No, it doesn't seem that you can. Nope. Unless it's higher up, maybe. I don't think so, though. Missed opportunities. Uh, they use cobwebs a lot. And I don't use this texture pack, so... They do use textures to their benefit. Like, they retextured hoppers here to look wood. I'm not going to do that. 
because for one, they're expensive. And two, I don't really like using redstone stuff as building blocks. Can I get in here? There we go. Oh, look at that. The wax is dripping down the candle. That's kind of cool. Not sure what this is supposed to be. Like, salt? I like this. I do like, I do do this every now and then. Um, I don't know what this is supposed to be. Kind of just taking a look at their interior. These guys know what they're doing, so there's probably lots of stuff for me to, I don't, I don't know what this is supposed to be. Just a brewing stand. This is supposed to look like lights. Kind of looks like it could be lights if you retextured it. it real quick all right not too much to learn in here I don't know I don't have the resource pack that matches the version of Minecraft I don't know if they intended for iron fence to look like this because I don't know what this is supposed to be it's like just rods sticking up This is a meat storage. They probably used nether rack. See, I wouldn't mind changing nether rack to look like meat, but that would just make the nether look so much worse than it already does. Oh, okay, so now we're outside. They do use pretty liberal use of wool and trap doors to create these partially enclosed areas i'm not sure what sometimes it feels like these big builders um just clutter like with no like these guys are good builders don't get me wrong i don't get the point for the glass though um this is just so cluttered and this what is all this cobweb supposed to be? They could have changed the texture, like I said. Maybe this cobweb is supposed to look like something different. But this, it just looks like spammed cobweb here to me. Oh well, that's not what I'm here to look at. I'm here to look at street details. What is going on here? Can you normally place a rail on top of fence? They must use world edit to do that. Yeah, that, you can't even place it on grass. They, they did use world edit for that. I'm not sure what they're trying to accomplish. They use glass in pretty strange areas. Just sipping, keeping my palette wet. I would like to retexture brick, I think. Ooh, I like this. Kind of. It's almost like too much of a reach. Like, I don't know why. It doesn't make any sense logically. Stone with hay. What is this, though? Is this anything? Does this out outer wall here serve any purpose? No. I feel like I'm being picky now. <laughs> I'm here to pick up new tricks from this build. I'm just picking up things that I don't like. <laughs> I do like this. This little stairway that they tuck between buildings. And then they cap it off with a... Uh, I'm going to mark this as something that I like. And then they cap it off with a uh, little overhang there. I do like that. 
Um, is this iron that they're using here? I wonder if I have the exact texture pack that they're using. It looks so strange. Again, using trapdoors. I've been using trap. I use trapdoors a ton. Um, I do like this. It's nothing incredibly new to me, but I do like how they did their walls here. Even more interesting though, this. Ooh, they took in so many doors. I like that. They really do well with going in and out. Hello, electric geckos. How are you? Yeah, build study. This is from the Articraft, guys. That's a server, right? I don't know if it's like a group or if anybody can go on there. Anyways, I saw a time lapse for this building or for this build, and it's a like military keep, and I kind of wanted to get in here, figure figure out some of their tricks. Now this is cool. I really like the layout of this building. This little this little thing. I'm gonna mark that as a point of interest. I really like that round top right there. I hear my cats running all around. <laughs> I wonder if you do too. Um, I like that. Ooh, I like that they have like an. I'll mark this more visibly. Right there. I like that there's like an exposed inside section here. And can you actually get up here? You can't actually get up here. But it's storage nonetheless. Point of interest. I really like this entire... Like, it's little nooks and crannies like this that make a uh, a city build interesting. I'm a big fan of that. That's cool. I'm just going to take a peek in here. Is this just storage? It is just storage. That's a cake. Um, I had to know. That's interesting that they have an outdoor, it's like a shed, I guess. Yeah, this is like a baker's place. This is cool. I wouldn't mind maybe retexturing um, paintings to look like this. I feel like it's kind of cheating. I feel like if I'm going to retexture paintings, I need them to look like, like this maybe. This is a John Smith texture. I recognize that. Um... I've heard that's a problem. People stealing textures from other texture packs. I don't I don't know if they stole. Maybe they asked. Or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Um, but I love this room. The verticality of it. The theme. Like I know what it was when I walked in. And this looks like a, a kitchen. Even further back. That's like a baker. That's like a kitchen. They keep everything so compact but so tight that I feel like ooh and then we end up here so is this just some dude's house not not necessarily a baker maybe just some dude's house <clears throat> yeah I'm just using it to mark um, interesting things I haven't found a block that sticks out more um, I probably should pumpkins they stick out right They use cool textures for stained glass. Um, but yeah, just marking stuff. Personal texture pack has made several rips. That's fine. If you're just using it for yourself, it's like, that's chill. Um, see, I feel like this cobweb, this texture must have been changed. Like, I get they're placing it where they want rope. But it doesn't look like rope. It looks it's cobweb. Uh, they must have changed that texture since this, this map is older than this texture pack. I like this stairway. What do they tuck under the stairway? See, I really, really like this use of... Oh, man. I haven't gone that far. We've gone from that side of the, side of the building to the other side. 
but I feel like I'm in a whole different area, and that's something that Z's really good at. Make it go taller. Make what go taller? Um, that's something that Z's really good at, like tight quarters, and when you go around a building, um, what? what? Uh, you feel like you're in a whole different area. Some of this looks cool, but I can't make sense of it, and I feel like maybe they're using that to their advantage. Here's a cool little balcony. This back into the bakery section. No, this is the bed. See, this is just one building, and I'm lost. That's cool. Okay, we're up here. Can I open this? I can. Um, but yeah, I love how compact they've made this section right here. They use like a wall. This wall I love. This wall in particular between houses and then this alleyway. I feel like that's something I could learn to do better. Man, there are so many tricks here. I wonder what that was supposed to be. Hmm. There are things all over to learn. Now this looks like a similar style house, yeah. But not the same. They did a good job of making them different. I need to get over building big rooms. Build small ones. Like, yeah, definitely. I think that's like the biggest mistake. If you're like trying to learn the basics of interior detailing, go to go check out Litchi Inc. Lynchy Inc. L Y N C H Y Inc. He has this video um, and he he just has one little building and he did the interior on it and made some really good points on it. But even after watching that, my phone is driving me crazy and I don't know where it is. Oh, that's right. I dropped it on the floor. Somewhere. Here it is. No. Oh. Um, even still, there is like, I don't know how to make it so you get lost in it. <laughs> this is cool. But this is like, this is supposed to be a military base. Why is there a house this nice in it? Like, that's a nice fountain right here. Um, oh, they probably just use this as a place dedicated to the builders. I mean, it's cool. I'm overthinking it. I wonder what this stuff is. Is this like a table? That's cool. Oh, I got a, uh, got a message. Roman. Yeah, I think the, um, I might be wrong, but I think the theme of the server is like Lord of the Rings inspired. Like the rest of this clearly doesn't look Roman, but then they have like these pillars, like they use a lot of pillars. Like here. So if it weren't for this chimney here, and these pillars right here, it would be a flat wall. So it's interesting that they kept such a flat wall. And the texture pack helps. Helps it make make it look more exciting. But they definitely have a mix of inspirations going, I think. Now that's creepy. This must be like some kind of um, temple. 
I don't know. That was weird. See, here's pillars again. They use pillars on the interior. I, I like this the little shelf here. Um, they use small blocks like walls and trap doors to partition their rooms a lot. Something that they definitely like doing. How do I get out of here? Oh, and we're outside. Okay, I'm mostly interested in city building and planning. Because this is a big build. Now I watched the, um, I watched the video. I should probably put that in my, uh, in my description, the reference video. And they start out with the walls and they plan everything inside of it with the wool. Um, and let's get this reference video up. If I can find it. Um, not sure where it went. It's not in my history. There it is. Don't play. Okay. Yeah, it sure looks nice in shaders on their video. They said in the, at the end, they give some, like, um, some statistics. I'm going to put it above my music reference because I'm not using music right now. They put some statistics and they said the recording for this thing for their time lapse here took like two terabytes. <laughs> I was like, I want to do this. Two terabytes? Oh, never mind. Planning with a wall. Well, it was easier for them because what they did was they basically built these walls in wool, and then they used um, World Edit to change it all into a randomized selection of stones in one command. But all you really have to do is make squares. Um, just go over here in the clouds. Oh, stone bricks. I, I plan in cobble as well when I'm in creative. I'm thinking about for this project, I'm going to plan in wool though. Because it would be really nice if you could say, here's my wall here. Maybe here's a tower here. Tower here. My wife's yelling at the cats. But then you can pull this out and say, there's going to be a building here, building here. And then you pull out a different color. And you say, here's going to be a road. The color coordinating really helps if you get a system. Yeah, they must have kept this a similar texture because they also use it for smoke. They just got really liberal with the use of it, using it as rope. I like this. I do this sometimes. I, I did this on the um something very similar, like identical to this, in the um farmers guild. Little side shack here, and this is toilets. So that's interesting. I'm assuming it's toilets. Um, but it's like you've got this square house, or you just plan it out as a big square. And then you add these things on the sides. You add an interesting roof, these pillars. You mix up the um, types of block that it's made from, and all of a sudden, 
you have a much more interesting structure. But there's more to it. It's I mean a lot of it's repeating patterns which I get. What do they do over here? What is this? <laughs> These supposed to be like dog houses? I have no idea. Mister, I don't know what you're saying. Um, I want to take a good look at the street planning from above. Can I turn off clouds in this? Clouds off. Um, so when you get up here, you know, it felt very complicated down there. When you see how they did it up here, it's like, well, the whole thing is sectioned off into two main parts. Here's like barracks or whatever, and these are these look pretty much similar. Or if you were just playing this out in wool, it you know very simple over there. Then just some larger buildings here, mixing up the roads a little bit. I like this section over here. They put some buildings against the wall. Here's like a watchtower. This is cool to me. I'm gonna mark that as a point of interest. This is definitely cool to me. I like the way that they have them up on pillars sticking out from the wall. They use walls a ton. Like inside, outside, everywhere walls. This little building is catching my interest though. So, I mean, there's so many things. There's a side alley here which goes to the meat locker that we saw earlier. Okay, so we've been here. That's how good they do at making this feel like a maze. Um, I don't know what this is really supposed to be, to be honest. But I like the way it looks from the outside. My phone. Who is texting me? Oh, I'm just getting a bunch of notification that Tate's liking all my stuff on Twitter. I feel like I should position this down a little. Alright, what else do we see here? Do they have a window here? They do. <laughs> I like, this would be a great spot for a window. I mean, it's a horrible spot for a window. Like, you're up on this wall just peeking in, and you can't really use it from in there. But I was like, I hope there's a window there. And there was. Cobble walls make good thin walls. Yeah, I don't use them... Like this, I really wish that they filled in the gap. You can texture that, I suppose, huh? Is that cheaty? Can you texture that so that it fills in the gaps there? Because that would be outside the hit box of it, right? The collision box? I guess I don't mind that for a wall. I was thinking that the gaps would be more noticeable. Yeah, I might start using that. I always thought that would be... I didn't think that flew, flowed, flewed, flewed together that well. Um, the use of the iron walls, is, iron ore walls, is just crazy to me. What is this? Can I not pick it? Why won't it let me pick it? Oh, this must be before picking. Oh no, I picked things earlier. I don't remember when picking was added. It won't let me pick though. Not cheaty for you? Yeah. Like that's such a subtle thing. I feel like that could work. Where? Oh, that goes nowhere. I feel like they were planning a stairway there. And they're like, nah. <laughs> Um, I've kind of stayed away from over there. 
should head over there soonish. So then there's another building over here. Follows what I'm guessing is pretty much the same. I really like the use of the balconies um, sticking out over, and they do a really good job of making them feel enclosed, even though they're open to the outside. Like it's just technically two blocks, one block. It's just technically one block open, um, and then just a bunch of half blocks and transparent blocks. So that's something cool. I didn't note that. Hello. Thank you. Is there anything else to take note of over here? I should have got a few of these maps ready. I think we can find another one to do. Um, was I already in here? No. But it looks pretty much like the baker that we saw. Oh, here's another really good job of... Ooh, what's this? What is this structure? There's a pillar. Just supporting the staircase. There's two pillars. You walk through it. You could even put a door here. Kind of like how sometimes there's locked doors on fire escapes. I do like that. Gosh, it's like... All these things, I'm like, why didn't I ever think of that? And I see it, I'm like, I should have thought of that. I don't know why I didn't. The window up in the roof makes sense. Word. Otherwise, it's in fuego. Let's take a look over here. I'm really not a fan of this <laughs> style of roof. The texture pack makes it look okay. When you switch back into default, I switch back into default to see if it will look any good here. And the brick did not look good. <laughs> Alright, so are these pretty much all the same? They do fit in... Oh wait, no. I need to be over here. <laughs> so there's, I think, horse stables? Yeah, these are horse stables. And there's a lot of them, like... For 30 horses, I think the uh, video said. Then there's an alleyway through. Great uses of the alleyways. What's this? Will you please pick? I don't think it's going to. There is a door here. Uh, just storage? It's just so crazy compact. Like, I don't know what this is supposed to be, this cobble. I don't know. This must have been before banners. I don't see any banners. This is from 1.7. I forget what update that was. I'm gonna find out. Minecraft 1 1.7 update. I remember, didn't people, a lot of people stayed in 1.7 and didn't switch to 1.8. I don't remember why. The update that changed the world, was that the biome update? Have many new features such as new terrain generator, biomes and biome variations, stained glass, red sand, new tree types, new spawn system, new fish, new fishing system. This was a great update. Yeah. That was probably before banners. Yeah, 1.8, that would explain it. I feel like they could have cured a lot of their problems with this stupid cobble, or this stupid webs. Ugh. I don't know that I care for all their um, 
choices for blocks for the walls. Like these are just so different. Just a tiny little extension here. I just made a video on stuff like this. I didn't make one quite like that though. This is like a trough. That's cool. I like that. See, I feel like I'd build something like this and then I'd be like, nah, this is stupid. But they made it look alright. They're not afraid of throwing some bright colors into it either. Like that's, that yellow is really bright. Made a dado. Which update was the uh, combat? Was that 1.9? I know a lot of people did not like that. And I was like, I just want to build. I don't I don't really care. I don't, I don't fight stuff. I think I've crashed like one shield. How long have I been playing this game? Um, what are these? More stables maybe? So are these all barracks? What happens if we go inside? If I can find a way inside. Doors, hello. Oh, here's a furnace. I do like that. See, this is not good to me. I don't know if it's supposed to look like marble. I like this table. I do like this table. That requires a lot of iron, though. How do you get in here? I see a door. Combat was 1.9. Word. I stopped playing for quite a bit at some point. Ugh, my contacts. Ugh. Why do you do this to me? They went all the way into making a basement. Ooh, it's creepy down here, though. Now, what is the point of this? Um, I don't really know. It's creepy, though. Man, the interiors add so much exploration to the city, but it's just, like, unrealistic for a survival build to do that many interiors. Like, the size of the interior that I did for the tower was probably the equivalent of half of, not even, like a quarter of one of these. And it took me a few hours. Doing the whole thing, assuming that I didn't have to go get uh, resources, this entire thing, interiors would probably take... A good 30 hours that's, and that's disgusting to even think about they did this map in 60 hours in creative think about that and these are guys that do not mess around is there anything else for us to learn tight quarters use trap doors to our advantage for that Make little alleyways and fill them with crap. Um, and this whole, like, bam. This whole entrance gate's really cool to me. Um, ooh. I don't know what I was expecting. The gate, the their use of trap doors for the gate's really cool. Sorry I didn't make it Thursday, you don't have Twitch. I actually didn't end up streaming Thursday. But thank you for joining us. Welcome back. Will it be easy to do more? I also recommend building farms. Farms before doing. 
I pretty much have the resources that I need. Like, the, the biggest resource that's a struggle for me is stone. But I have efficiency 5 and beacon, so I can pretty much just... Um, yeah, I haven't done an AFK fish farm. Um, the only reason why I really want to is I want a mending book for Elytra. Elytra. Um, but it's like one little thing. I kind of like, oh, whatever. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. It, once you do one. Yeah, because I was definitely, when I did the interior in a, f a few episodes ago, I definitely spent a lot of time figuring out what I wanted it to look like. Um, This is cool. This is a cool little garden. I'll mark this as a point of interest. Yeah, this is nice and compact, and I like this walkway, or whatever it's supposed to be. They do so many outdoor sections of buildings so well. I kind of want to see if they have any other maps up for download. They have, they have a server. Should we go on their server and take some notes? I think it's public, right? Like it's a thing. Hardcraft server. I don't know how many builds they have or how you. Like, like, I could probably be on there forever. I know B-Dubs did a tour of it, rec like, not too long ago. Like, last week. And they didn't want him to do a video on it because they didn't want a flood of players. So, yeah, they definitely have. Oh, man, they do custom trains so well. Crafts to recreate JRR Tolkien's Middle Earth. So they're actually recreating it. Hmm. That's so good. Okay, but I see your slideshow. How do I get to the server? What's my latest project? I'm doing studying for it. Um, I haven't actually started it, but it's going to be a city, a proper city. With a castle, proper castle. <laughs> I don't... It's just a slideshow. How do you... Artacraft.me. It's just a slideshow. Do you have to go through the slideshows to find stuff? What a useful uh, website. Artacraft server. I pay. And I'm sure that they're in 1.11 now. Uh, here we go. And they appear to be in 1.8.9? Really? Like, really? This video is sponsored by Coke. I'll probably get about half a cent for it, too. Oh, let's just enter the IP. Um, and see what it says about the version. Artcraft server done. Okay, they're in one point ten. Okay. Yo, aren't we in one point eleven? Launch options, yeah, we're in 1.11. What you doing? 1.10. Ooh, gotta. Hermit Crab, I've been following him. 
thing is a lot of them aren't like super build I'm like looking at like big scale builds to take some notes um need to set the ratio for this OBS, are you going to screw up now that I did that? Or are we good? We're good. I wonder why they're not in 1.11. Um, no, I hate Forge. How big of a process is that? <laughs> How fast can I install Forge? Um, I don't know what the difference here is. No new blocks. Um, What was the last update? <laughs> I I used to know all the updates. Now we do not. This all get the installer. I'm gonna screw up my entire Minecraft. I'm gonna lose everything. You know what? It's, since we are messing around with it, I'm gonna back up my uh save. Just copy this, paste it onto my desktop. Hello, could you paste please? Does that not work? There it goes. I have too much stuff on my desktop. I don't know where it went. <laughs> Maybe I should just put it in uh, documents. Sorry, I know it's boring. I want to get on that server though. Just paste it here. Okay, perfect. We have a backup, so it doesn't really matter if we screw everything up. It's a decent effort. Um, I have the right version here. One in the morning. You must be East Coast. Yeah, I figured I'd do a late night stream. I was planning on earlier, but then... Okay, I got the jar. Probably have to quit this, huh? Do install client. Grabbed one successfully. Blah blah blah. Okay, now what? Ah. <laughs> uh... Now 
Now what? <laughs> Do I... Is there a profile for Forge now? Or is it just in it? Is it just working? It said successfully... This is just working, huh? Let's try. It's been so long. I've like always avoided Forge because it can be a pain in the butt. Okay, why well, didn't oh, it said it was successfully? Okay, what happens when I search Forge? Right? Yeah, I know that. I don't use mods, though. What's FML? Is that FML or Forge or FML and Forge? What's FML? Forge mod loader. FML, Forge. Okay, what if I, oh, there's like a search for FML dash Forge, like it's one thing. This is the same place that I already was. Okay, I'm just gonna go, go to YouTube. Installing Forge. There's a dude named Lukey Z. Um, let's go with the newer version. Before you do any of these steps, guys, that I'm about to tell you, what you need to do is you need to go to your run and type in percent app data percent and enter. Now, this will bring up a little thing here. You're going to go oh, to your gee, Minecraft really? folder. You're going to go to your saves. And what you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste them onto your desktop. And then if you can if, literally all you need, if uh, all you need really are your saves, um, and your resource packs maybe uh, but what you are going to do is you are going to delete the minecraft folder keep your saves on the desktop and then you're going to do um, load up minecraft from afresh again and then you're going to do what i'm about to tell you guys well that that's just too much let's see if we can find another map i really don't need to be able to view everything i can get a lot from one map I'm not deleting all my stuff right now Sorry, not sorry. Okay, let's just find. Wonder how much the map download is. Probably huge. Well, I doubt that they go that far, right? Oh, here we go. I think I found something to uh, to do a study on. Oh, dang, that's huge. Looking at all their projects and all their individual downloads. The Grey Havens. It's like over the top city, but it is the si a city. What other cities do they have? 
the Shire. That's not what I'm looking for. Bree. Bree, I feel like we could get something from. Let's keep that on a tab. Um. Okay. Let's just back out of this and decide which one of these. Let's take a look at, let's see which one of these I think is closest to what we're doing. This one could be cool, but it looks very rural. Um, <laughs> I want to look at the Grey Havens. This one's cool. What version is this for? Why is there no download? There's no download available. Okay. There's no download available. There's no download available. All right. I guess we're going to get into the world and start doing our own thing then. Apparently, we're going to make it a pain in the butt to A, access their stuff, B, download anything. If I want to figure out how to get on their server, then I'll do it on my own time. I'm not going to sit here and delete files and all that crap. Not now. It's interesting that they made the one available, though. I think I just crashed it. Oh, I fell behind on chat. Um, these creative servers builds in overworld are really good. Yeah, I've taken notes of that. There's skin of the wolf colors. All oh, right. This is really good builds on the map. Download it off stream if your internet. My internet's pretty good. Just gone. What I have, have I missed? We've been doing um, build studies. I've been. Um, I downloaded um, someone else's map. You know, just kind of taking notes for um, reference of myself uh, for an upcoming project. Just to, kind of learning to build in a new style. Um, and now I'm about to jump into my actual world and do a little bit of prep work for the next area, which is a proper city. I might be lurking a bit while working on a resource pack. No problem. Feel free to let me know, Spartan, if you want to jump in chat. Um, all right, it worked. I loaded in. So this was, I'm not in the right version now, but I was viewing a build from them. World was saved. Oh, right, I'm in a snapshot. Let's get out of this. Let's not screw up everything. Um, so yeah, mostly preparing for a next, the next big build. Trying to learn how to manage space and plan out buildings and city planning. That's like the big thing that I've never done. Like the farming village, yeah, that's not really tight quarters. Is not really what I'm going for this time. Might fall asleep. Hey, that's fine with me. I I do that all the time. I find chill stream with chill music. Um, and I, I fall asleep. Well, until my wife makes me, comes to bed and she's like, 
Shut that stuff off. Oh, I gotta resize this. screwed up going next level with the face cam I see I've had the boom um it's really not that the boom was like there we go the booms like $20 this thing is um I forget what exactly it's called a shock mount I guess um and it's like a metal ring suspended by rubber cords or some sort of cords so if I you know bump into my desk you're not gonna hear vibrations from the floor to the stand to my mic I do like it it seems to work pretty well um, let's turn off the texture pack do not want you here So the first thing that I want to do, let's load in my texture back, which I need to get put up for for download. It, there's not much reason to yet. Still working on it. All right. I'm going to hop in creative on my world for a little bit because we're just going to be flying around. Now there's two potential areas and this is the finished um, the finished product of what we just built I'm pretty happy with it oh hello lag I uh, should be good I think we're just loading it loading in chunks um pretty happy with it Building towers, I'm going to be happy and not be building towers. Um, these roofs were kind of a pain in the butt. But there are pretty much two areas. Are we going to have problems loading in? We are, aren't we? Okay. Does a shock mount give you another pivot point as well? So there's a pivot on it, but you fix it. So it's... It has a ring that you tighten and then it stays in place. Um, so you, I could do, sorry if this is loud, I could do this if I wanted to, but the, the uh, mount itself has a pivot point for moving it like this, like this, and like this. And I can pretty much get it, you know what? It's not a bad idea. I could probably get this thing out of my way a little bit. And you can extend it. Sorry if this is noisy. If my mount's working, then it shouldn't be. Um, so I can pretty much do any moving with the mount itself. The shock mount here is mostly for audio quality. Um, so we're going to be building in a um, mountain zone, extreme hills. What kind of mic do you have? This, I believe, yeah, this shock mount is the exact same brand as the mic, so they work together really well. <clears throat> Can I have an extreme hills biome? And there's two of them, two extreme hills I want to take a look at. There was one, when I made this map I made it um so I, I looked for a map with the biomes I wanted somewhat nearby um and there's actually a spot that I'm considering that isn't the original spot has the same mic as me then you should be able to get this guy for like fifty dollars or something like that Maybe maybe less. I don't think it's more than that. 
I think streaming is taking up my, did I change my amount of allocated memory? No, I did not. Why are we using, oh, never mind, we're fine. See my turd specs. Um, so we come this way to get to this village. Um, and then immediately go into the extreme hills. Wow, this is crazy how long this is taking to load in. It's got to be because I'm streaming, right? And then just bam, load it in. That's crazy. But there's like one spot in particular. I wonder if I can find it. It's towards the edge, so it's by some water. So let's just follow this edge of the biome. My main concern is whether it's going to be big enough. Come on, please. Set to daytime. I think this is it right here. Yeah, it is. So this is prospect one. So things that this has to offer the wall um, would be nice to be able to build a castle against but there's not a whole lot of room here unless I built so the castle line would almost go like here it's just not a whole lot of room unless I made this entire section part of the castle and then we have whole, a whole lot of freedom down here to do docks and stuff with that. If we come over here, what my phone doing? I'm getting Snapchat from a bunch of people I don't know. <laughs> I gotta stop adding everyone that adds me. I don't use Snapchat really, so. Um, but then, if we can load in, see what else we're working with. So, so weird. So that's my main concern, is that I wish that this area right here were just bigger. We could put a castle here. We'd really be playing around the rivers, which would be cool. It's just not necessarily what I'm envisioning I mean we'd get a lot of opportunities with bridges we get some cool opportunities with gates and walls and cliffs hills are hard to build on I have leveled hills before and I don't want to <laughs> like this this right here I'd probably level This, I I could open this wall up. So I like this wall. I wouldn't mind opening up this. I need more stone anyway. Yeah, a castle would look... Yeah, that's what I thought. But it's like, how much does it allow for a town? I mean, we can have like two layers of walls. We can have... You know, the castle in a very protected spot right here. A town here and here behind another wall. And then, like, poor homes outside the wall. And it's fairly flat out here. If you ignore the river and this mountain here, flat some of this, it's a pretty flat area. I feel like we can't necessarily go wrong here let me see if i have i think i have screenshots of the location coordinates of the other place now this is the place the other place is where i initially planned on having this city like a year ago uh, yeah i got some old screenshots 
Open them up. I love going through screenshots and it's just like, why did I take this? Oh, here's a screenshot of fences. Here's one of a desert. Here's a, a mesa. I wonder if that's... I wonder if that's this same seed. I want location. If I can't find it, then I'm going to pull up. MC or like a map viewer. Come on. I swear I had taken made a file with all the locations I had found that I wanted to build in. I just don't know what I would have named it. I don't see what I'm looking for at all. Hello, Alan. How are you? We're just doing some planning on the next area that we're that we're building in, trying to decide if we want to build here, which has some pros and cons. The biggest con is this size between these rivers like for a proper city and but but I think we'd have a cool opportunity with with bridges and cliffs and stuff here um, so let's, let's type that in um, mineatlas.com I'm not cheating I've already found this place. I'm just not spending all time. I'm not about to spend all day looking for some biome that I found a year ago. Because I found it already. 27621. <clears throat> what are my coordinates? Uh, negative or six negative four thousand seven hundred. <clears throat> oh gosh, having <laughs> so much trouble figuring out which way the coordinates are going because the coordinates are like lagging behind on this little map viewer. Okay, so... What the heck? I wish that you could type in coordinates. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. I need 4,700. Okay, that's where I am. Hmm, this actually might be the original spot. I've never realized it. Is this the original extreme hills that I found? Is this the original spot that I planned for? It's not that big either. <clears throat> like we have a we have an ice you know, variety of ice plains and ice mountains biome pretty close to here that I would say is a good <laughs> 20 times bigger than this Extreme Hills biome. It is massive. And this Extreme Hills isn't that large. Now if I want to go to a different Extreme Hills, yeah, I'd be going a long ways away. I'd have to go thousands of blocks away. <clears throat> There's one that's about 3,000 blocks away from. But that just like doesn't fit with the story. I just don't like it. Like here's a bigger one, like 5,000 blocks away or 7,000. 
This is probably not only our only option, but maybe our best. There's one more that I want to check out. Just to make sure. Let's go to 300 negative. Negative 3,800. Hello, Trent. How are you? All right. So, so this is probably going to be the location of our new build. Can we not have clouds? Thank you. Um, let's go to th th what I say three. Three hundred. Wait. Three hundred. This way. <laughs> Negative 3,800. My contacts are driving me crazy. Uh, if you're new here, hello, welcome. I'm mostly doing planning. This is a survival world. I'm just flying around to make it easier on everyone. Um, planning our next build, which is going to be a city, a proper city. I should be running into mountains right now I would build a city by a body of water yeah exactly and I a lot of the ones I saw didn't on that on that little map they didn't and I can actually pull up the map right Let me see if I can pull up this window. Um, uh, add a window capture. Word. Is that going to work? It's black. I don't know why it's black. I guess we're not going to see it. <laughs> Alright, forget that. But yeah, a lot of them are either very, very far away. Or not by any water. And I do want to use that to my advantage. But... Take a look over here before we finish off. Can I turn up my uh, di render distance without you being stupid? So tomorrow's my birthday. We're gonna go see me and my wife. We already saw your name. Did anyone see your name? That's a movie, by the way. Your name, a new anime movie. And it was good <laughs> i really liked it um i'm gonna go see it again yeah this is like the most plain jane that's boring it's not gonna go here and there's not another mountain biome anywhere near so let's head back to where we were i've been sipping on the scope for like an hour and a half just Keep my throat. <laughs> Thank you. It's actually in an hour, technically. I feel old. 23 feels so much older than 22. <laughs> Spartan Overdrive is like, I don't want to hear it. It's like so pathetic when people in their early 20s talking about how old they feel. It's like, shut up. Okay, where were we? <laughs> I like the, uh, I like the plains biome right here. Where were we? No, wait, we went that way, so we gotta go this way. Right there. I think that's our wall. 
<laughs> I'm officially an old man. Talk about how old you are. Am I gonna stream tomorrow? I could. Sunday's my only day off. I work six days a week usually. Um, and I don't, I don't like throw parties. <laughs> So I don't really have anything else to do. I might. I'll probably stream. Because I got a lot of like work to do. That's boring. Alright, I'm just going to take a screenshot. I think I have screenshots here. But, of this place. But 700. I'll try to get a round number. That's easy to remember. Nope. No way. Seven hundred, forty-eight hundred. Probably still Act Fourteen, right? Who's got time to be an adult? Or not allowed to listen to that. Um, <laughs> lightning just struck that tree. Yo, were you guys here when uh, the other day I was streaming? We were working on the uh. The orc uh, stronghold, and I was like at the bottom of a hill, and a rabbit <laughs> jumped off the hill and died right in front of me and scared the crap out of me. Just splat. I'm gonna TP that. I, I don't know that I have TP allowed. <clears throat> oh, there goes all my trees. Should let rain. Um, I don't TP around. I'll fly around, but I don't TP around. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. How would you defend the backside of a mountain? Just like... We could do some cool things with this wall. I need to look up, like, actual historical... Wells Knight referred me to a guy who does not Minecraft stuff, but actual like actual historical analysis or whatever of castles and I need I need to go check that out how do you feel about using what exactly is that Biome Finder. Is this like a um? Oh, okay. Hi. Oh, are you doing things? Yes, I am. You are on stream. Sorry. Um, what? Am I allowed to give you a present for an hour? No. Why not? I don't need. Because then tomorrow's just gonna suck. I'm sorry. I'll give you one. Okay, one. Um, I'm using Mine Atlas, which is like a high higher definition. But I used that in the first place to find my biome, so the map wasn't like a mystery to me at all. I already knew what the map looked like and. Biomes are so rare now. Like, if you want to find a Mesa biome, I'm not interested in, like, traveling around for hours. The stream says hello. The stream says hello. <laughs> Could you hear her? She said, tell him to screw off. <laughs> <laughs> You are mean. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I'll use a map. I'm not interested in running around for hours looking for stuff. <clears throat> I got stuff to do. I'm not. <laughs> if I if I got an hour or two to work on Minecraft, I'm not gonna spend it running around. Okay. Um. I think we're gonna switch over to survival. Okay, I was like, where are we? Well, <laughs> here we are. 
think I'm gonna switch over to survival. Man, everything looks so grainy from up here. What? Why does everything look so grainy? Does this game always look like that? Maybe it's because I'm using it on a TV monitor. My second monitor is a TV monitor. Um, <laughs> it almost looks crisper on stream. <laughs> I like to explore, but when you need to find something fast, it doesn't make. Yeah, the good thing is I found my end portal um, on accident, and it's right by the first place. <clears throat> Here's something that I flattened out once upon a time. But a lot of you haven't even seen the first place that I built in. It looks pretty awful. I did use a texture pack, but going back in vanilla, I'm like, this has got to change. There's lots of stuff around here that a lot of you probably haven't seen. Like here is a mob grinder that I use whenever I want to pick up a few spare levels. It's just a zombie spawner. I wish it was a... Yeah, skeleton spawner. Um, this is the first town I started building in. This is like when I first started getting back into Minecraft. Wow, it's like so boring. Like I get what I was going for. My eyes hurt from looking at it. And the end portal legit as well. Yeah, you can do triangulating, but I just like completely accidentally. It's like a hundred or two hundred blocks that way. Um, it's like, man, have I not made a jump? <laughs> Does this not look? Let me show you what look what it was supposed to look like, because this did not do me any favors. I'm gonna have to use one point ten. You can use multiple resource packs now. I just figured that out. Yeah, it did make a difference. Like, texture packs make things more interesting when you have flat surfaces. Which is why I'm like, I don't want to use them. Like, this doesn't look half bad now. It's a lot of wood. But it doesn't look that bad now. I would definitely change a lot of things. If I were to come back. I used to have cows in here. They disappeared. I remember while I was working on this. I, I was like. I, see I like this area. These boats that I made. And then. This. Was like hay storage. And this is where the farming village came into play. I was like well where the heck are they getting this hay. You know they're not growing out in here. Um, so they imported it on these boats. Can you come back there? Yeah, maybe. Um, like, these aren't that bad for little houses. But it's just like, yeah, if I come back... I just feel like now that I'm using the default texture pack, it's just rough. Like, I tried to use a darker wood here with a lighter roof, and it doesn't look that bad in this texture pack, but when I switch it over... Yogg's Cast. Do they still do their thing? I remember when Yogg's Cast got banned from Minecon. Are they still banned from Minecon? That's why I keep my textures close to the fault. Yeah. It's just like... <laughs> See, this looks so bad. and I want to change the birch texture, though. But it's like, when you're flying overhead... Look at that white roof. That's bad. And then I started something over here. I don't even know what this is. Like, what is this? Yeah, I could definitely come back and someday, but i got bigger things on my mind. So let's actually drop into... I didn't realize I got banned. Um, so this might be old. Birch. Do you like birch? I hope you don't like birch. <laughs> I really don't like... I, I wanted to add in more 
contrast into it. So maybe a dark plank. I'm not sure though. Um, definitely darker. It just doesn't fit. It's so clean. We thought it was oak. This is oak right here. See, it's like, you thought oak was light. It looks dark in comparison to that. Yogg's cast, I remember. This had to be, I was in high school when this happened. This had to be five years ago. They were just making total tools of themselves at Minecon, and they, like, asked them not to come back. And that was like when they were, I don't know how big they are now, but figuring how popular Minecraft was back then, probably in their peak, they just thought that they were like all that. I thought the birch was oak. <clears throat> yeah, but you see why you've got to change. Like, yeah. Um, let's drop into survival. And... The first thing that I want to do is clear up my inventory. Let's uh, reduce this because I don't need to be able to see that far. Save the frames. Kill the cows. Anybody get that reference? Probably not. Um, bam. I used to have a door there until creepers blew up. This is the first place, like my first base of operations and yeah. This is like episode one, you can see this stuff. I feel bad, my episode one's like my most viewed let's or episode naturally, but it's like it's rough, man. Let's grab some wood here and I don't really care to be organized. Let's just throw stuff in. Um some of the stuff can be thrown away. I have strip mines down here. Let's get rid of that. You. Well, you, you. We're gonna get some wool for planning. I wanna like try my hand at proper city planning. So what I think that we're gonna need to do is a color for walls, a color for buildings, a color for roads. And I think if we go much further than that, we'll be overcomplicating it. I really don't Don't do much Minecraft anymore. I believe it. Who does, right? I mean, they weren't Minecraft players. They were entertainers. I think we can all agree on that. Did they? They didn't ever like play Minecraft. They did maps, and they did story, basically storytelling within the game. And you know, just, they're basically comedians using it as their medium. Um, the Yogg's cast. So. I'm not surprised that they were able to adapt to different um, to different things. How does it? Does anyone know how trapdoors get grab this texture? Because I was retexturing it. You can retexture the top. I'm not sure where it re grabs the texture from for the side though. Maybe just right. It flips this or something. I don't know, but I. <laughs> it's not lined up. <laughs> um, this should be good. Alright, so we need... Where's my dyes? Oh, plants. Here we go. Something bright. What do you get orange from? Yellow and red, right? Where is all my... Oh, I just got new recipes, huh? Yeah, entertainers. That's right, I haven't seen that that name for a long time. I used to like them. I honestly just didn't know that they were still doing stuff. <clears throat> I don't get a lot of opportunities to watch. I shouldn't say that, I just don't watch a lot of YouTubers. When I'm watching someone, I prefer streams. <laughs> and what does that tell you about? Where we're going, I guess. Um, why is that? 
Do I really not have yellow? Like, come on. I feel like I gotta have yellow. Somewhere. They're everywhere. Okay. I don't know why we even need yellow, really. Let's just dye some sheep red. And I'm here because we do have sheep here. Let's catch up on chat. Um, we could also use... I don't want to use white. Magenta. That'll stick out. That'll show them. And lime dye. Right? Sure. I kind of want more lime, though. Put something easy to grab. Um, more magenta. <laughs> That's easy to grab. I'm gonna go find some yellow. Just gotta be yellow out there. Do I not have a bed here? Oh my gosh. Well, let's take this opportunity to make a new color bed, not red. Sleep here. I cannot believe that the beds. Oh, the beds disappeared with that update, didn't they? Oh, I bet still there. There it is. Thank y'all. We got up to episode 43. I'm still waiting for the ending. They just didn't end it, but it was so popular. What what year was episode 43? Yeah, I was looking at Twitch, and I saw, like, some Yogscast guys doing d and I think. Like, there's a lot of those guys, right? But then it was just the two guys that were, like, really well-known. And everyone else was kind of piggybacking off of them. It seemed like a way to me, at least. Just close that up. Hey, look, yellow. Um, we should get some bone meal. I'm going to start with this, though. So just go and dye them for now. Dye them. And, uh... Shear them. And... Let it regrow. I need a dye farm. Okay. Anyone that isn't yellow or red, you're turning pink. You are... <laughs> all... Very pretty pink. Pink. 2013. The world got corrupted? You're telling me that they didn't have backups of that world? There's no way that they didn't have backups. That's like... No breach. Oh, look at you. Around here. How much red? I need to sort out the uh Okay, you need to get out of here. I don't really need you, you, you. We'll use the one that we can find. We'll use yellow for roads since we can find the least of them. That's crazy that they would let the world get corrupted. That was like a custom world and everything too, wasn't it? Who did that for them? They made some pretty dang good money. They were at the peak of of Minecraft entertainment. They were probably making some dang good money and paying some good money to some people to make those maps. Nope. Uh, let's go find some yellow. Some. Fortunately, I already had some in there. Ugh. Need to take a stretch break, everyone. It's not a safe place to go. Well, this is safe enough. Everyone that's been sitting down, take a moment. Stretch. Ugh. No 
the backups one time they did a mod review on it and they had to clean up sandstorm so they just did the mod review on it and kept the effects of it that's funny Gotta stay limber to make good builds. That's the hidden key. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go find bone meal. Because I do not see many yellow flowers. See, it's like this part of Minecraft that I'm like, we could skip out on this. I want to build a castle and a city, but you know what? Let's pick some flowers. Oh gosh dang it. I remember when I found these dudes and it was like right after I started playing Minecraft. I had no idea what they were or how rare they were. I was like freaking out. Looking for bones. Where do I have mob drops? Here we go. I left that door open. I'm gonna keep my eye on it. Uh, that should be plenty. Uh, let's just keep that many. Bam! Oh, yellow flowers all day. Cover it up. I'll pop out, grab a bit to eat real quick. I'll be back in a bit if you're still on. I'm planning on it. We're still going strong. I've only been on for not even two hours. Although, last time when I hit around two hours, I suddenly got tired real fast. Let's fix this hole. Only good building around here, though. Nothing. Uh, I like natural building. Nothing out of place. I'm out of pink wool. Um, bam. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Bam. There's only two flowers here. Does that mean I gotta go somewhere else? I think I gotta go somewhere else. Where did I pick that yellow flower? Did I pick it over here? I picked a yellow flower. Don't do this to me. Where did I get that? Chat, where did I get that flower? <laughs> Yo, where's the guy gotta do? Where's the guy gotta do? Where did I pick up that flower? I don't know what I'm doing. I gotta find the freaking yellow spot. Here we go! What is with. Oh my gosh, auto jump. I've been like. I thought I was climbing stuff. Holy crap. Get off. Only gonna get blue in a swamp? Well, that's good to know. I don't need many, to be honest. Just enough so we can gather some sheep. Should turn on some tunes. Last time I had them on, though, I couldn't figure out how to turn them down because the site, them, the actual site, didn't have. An adjustment for it. Does anyone want tunes? You sub. Thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the Nodak Pack. Or River. Okay. Well, I got them now. I figured it out. 
Sorry, I'm not uh, up to date on flower mechanics, geckos. Apologies. I'm glad that you subbed for this th thrilling uh, live build. Only the best building on this channel. No, sir, we do not mess around. Nothing out of place here. Not a thing. All right. That's way more than I need. Who is not a color? You're not a color. Oops. Damn. Um, I don't need cyan, dude. Come here. You've been listening to your own tunes. Go for it. I just didn't know. <laughs> okay, whatever. I can probably turn some of these red sheep yellow. Alright. Just collect these so that they start regrowing again. I wonder how many I need. I feel like no matter what, I'm going to un underestimate how much wool I'm going to need for this project. I could, like, instead of making a straight line for everything, just, like... Uh, probably don't need this many magenta. I could, like, stagger the wool. You have music? Well, if you are all listening to music, then I won't bother. Because it'd be one thing if I had a bunch of people. But if, if you're all, like, doing your own thing. Because this is YouTube. I gotta, like, keep it... Uh, the tunes monetization friendly um, so I can't like it'd be pretty much all instrumentals that I use in my videos <laughs> still in the chat room every now and then I do that I'm like I, I was in the chat room all night whoops Okay, what do I want to keep all of my wool in? Put you there. Oh, I need to sleep. It's night. So how's everyone doing tonight? It's Saturday night. I just finished finals. I took my last final. Do I have a wool box? Took my last final yesterday. So that's why I didn't get much done this past week. I was studying. But now, if I'm not at work, then I'm free. You put at work here. Miscellaneous. What does that mean? No, I already looked at that one. Stone. See, they gave us this wonderful way to organize everything and keep everything with us. And it's still not enough. Clay. I know this clay one has room. Yeah. Um, clay and wool are, like, practically the same thing. I'm gonna keep that in there for a while. I left myself in there. If anyone joined, I was gonna say welcome to the talk show. <laughs> Honestly, if I joined, like, some random chat and someone did that, I'd probably leave. <laughs> I'd be like, no thanks. Not a part of this. Hello. I see there's some, some people joining. If you're wondering what I'm up to, I'm pretty much just gathering wool to uh, mark off to organize my new build that we're going to be working on. Um, I'm trying to do a large city build and trying to... I think planning is like one of the things I'm learning is really important to large builds. So I'm going to try to plan everything out with wool. See how that works. So we're just clipping and then chatting for a little bit. Letting it grow back. Probably have to come back and do this again.
why not? I don't know. I just like like when I used to play in, on Xbox, I'd be like, oh, I didn't want to talk to people. I was like, I don't know you. I don't want to talk to you. And then you're like obligated to stay there and talk to them. It's a trap. That's all it is. Silly little trap. So is anyone that's watching here new from the uh, tutorial that went up the other day? I know I grabbed a few new viewers from that. I almost got up to 300. No, 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 no. I used to play... Like in high school, I just, I, I had an Xbox, you know, for games in general. Like, I played Skyrim and Call of Duty. Blech. Um, no, I started playing Minecraft on a toaster of a computer. I'm trying to, like, work out a knot in my cord. Um, this... Crappy little computer. I remember when I first started playing, I had to have my render distance at like four. No shaders, no fancy high res texture pack, um, low graphics. I just had to have it at like four all the time while I played. Because that's how bad it was. But no, I've never played console mm -hmm. Minecraft, and I really don't have intention to. Everyone that plays console Minecraft's like, it's the best. I don't know how you can play on computer. You kidding? Come on. Oh my gosh, there's two knots. These guys need more grass. Is there a speed up time command? I do have a <laughs> sheep farm that I started working on in my jungle village, which we haven't seen today. But I've only got it set up for one color so far. Here we go. Start on render three. I can play on ten, but I can record these on seven. Yeah. Um. I can do. You know, I can play pretty much as high as I want. At at a certain point, it doesn't seem to want to load in any further. Like, it's on 27. But that's clearly not 27. Um, I mean, it, it's coming in slowly, but it seems to not want to go past a certain point. Um, and then I notice when I keep it up high... I'll get lag from new r chunks rendering. Not so much from the render distance, but so many chunks rendering themselves. Um, now I keep it low a lot because I like the fog. I really do like fog. Speed up growth and friend tick speeds. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm just messing. And go gather some of these. How many do I have? I feel like if we have two stacks of each. Oop, there we got some legs. So if we have two stacks of each, we should be good to start planning out. Go back and plan out a little bit. The castle. Oh man, I'm just. I don't know what to do with it. It's like, I've never built a castle. I really want to get it right. I don't want to come back in a year and say, this is some bad layout. I want to look good, but I don't know how to do that. But on the other side, I've never looked at a castle and said, that's a bad layout. So I think maybe I'm overvaluing it. But at the same time, I want someone who like knows what they're doing to be able to look at my build and say, this guy's doing things right. If I want 45, if I wait 45 minutes. 
Yeah. Pretty much. If I'm using um, shaders, then I pretty much got to put it down pretty low, especially when I'm recording or streaming. I haven't even tried when I'm streaming. Um, and we're on a snapshot, so I can't even. Um, but I can stream or record 30 FPS with light shaders on at like 7. But then if I do get a leg spike, it's going to go below 30. Okay, I'm missing yellow. I have... Okay, so... Wait. There's a ton of magenta sheep in there. Are you telling me that's all I got so far? We got about a stack of each. I want to get more. I need to figure out, like, games or things to do in my downtime here. You know, I don't have a whole lot of this wood. Um, I guess I'll cut one down. This used to be my OG tree farm. Everywhere I go, I end up with a tree farm. And I never remember to remove them. The farming village sells a tree farm. The, uh... Stronghold still has, it's not a tree farm as much as trees, just uh, spruce trees just all over. Oh, I thought I'd be able to reach the top of that easier. I'll tell you if your castle is good. <laughs> That's the thing, I don't want you to tell me my castle's good. After I've done it, I want to know it's going to be good, you know. But there's so many different ways of doing it. Like, look at Z's castle. Like, it's... I want to go on a more realistic approach, but his is like a, almost a silly fantasy style. But it works so well. The one on a server. It's like, as long as you're rocking that theme gonna be all right swamps are so ugly I gotta remove that I'm sorry it was funny but I gotta remove that that's a lot of wool that I placed I was like where'd all my magenta wool go oh yeah filled in a hole with it. Oh. Another thing that I want to do sometime on live stream is go back to the farming village and Finish up some of those houses. We have a good section of the housing section that is not done. Okay, I promise soon, guys. Thank you for sticking with me. I promise we'll get some more interesting stuff here in a moment. People did say they might fall asleep on my stream. It might just be you and then people asleep. I'm okay with that. <laughs> flux capacitor. Funny story, in high school when I played basketball, I had this coach, um, or the head coach, he was a pretty intimidating guy, but he was also pretty funny, like he, he was easy to get along with, but he was really good at demanding respect, like you didn't, he was also a teacher, you did not mess around with him. Like, you just didn't. No one even tried. And, um, you know, I was on the basketball team, so we, like, he had my number and I had his. And every now and then, like, whenever you need to make, like, a team announcement, he'd send out a mass text. <laughs> one day, I get a text from him that says something like, something about charging up a flux capacitor. <laughs> and I text him back, I was like, you're talking to the wrong people. Never brought it up again. <laughs> Never heard about it again. 
I guess there's worse things to send to your entire team of teenage boys. Yeah, two sleeping. We were up to six. I'm pretty excited though. Um, this is the th technically the third stream. The first one was very much experimental, trying to get the whole stream working. Um, and then a lot of the second one was me and one dude. So just seeing that number go up, like I didn't expect you know, a whole lot of people, but you know, it's chill, it's good. I'm glad to see that's like improving a little bit. I have no idea what YouTube's live stream algorithms uh, promote or whatever. Like if I keep doing this, are they gonna be like, yo guys, go watch him. Okay, I want two stacks of each. We can probably use the magenta for planning out buildings. Buildings can take the most. I'm good at streaming. Thank you. So a lot of people tell me that they're intimidated by streaming. Oh, I'm not sure why. I mean, I kind of get it, but it's so chill and relaxing. I think that's why some people don't think they think that they, they gotta always be like like the same quality as their videos like when you're making a video every second's got to have good commentary when you're streaming you know it's okay to be quiet for a little bit and i think some people don't get that and they worry about it too much so i love chills i love watching chill streams like i like i've been getting into drawing more i I'm, I'm like a you know, aspiring artist. Well, that's, I wouldn't say aspiring artist. I've always been decent at art, and I'm pursuing it a little bit more now. Um, I've got a drawing tablet here. I bought one of these doodads for drawing in Photoshop. And I like to watch uh, art streams to, like, learn and just see people's creations. That's driving me crazy people's creations and so many of them are like no talking and I'm just completely fine with it. They got chill music on. And that's Twitch though. I'm, I'm still... Oh, there goes my shears. I guess that's a good sign of being done. Um, a lot of... I, I don't know what exactly what... And on Twitch you can play music on live streams. That's like... regular music on here I think you'll get in trouble I'm not sure though I'm not sure if they treat live streams different than videos always talking yeah there's this guy on tw twitch maybe I'll hurt some feelings in this Josh OG he's like this he's a big streamer like as far as I know like one of the bigger streamers and he's always got like 6,000 viewers and whatever and he's so annoying. He's like always like one of those hype streamers, like. And his whole like emotes and channel is like weed themed, and it's it's just like obnoxious, like smoke whatever. I don't care, but it's like I get it. You smoke, Bob Ross. Okay. Twitch Creative is actually, like, not get treated very well by Twitch. Like, they get put in the corner in their own little um, section that nobody knows about, and nobody new comes to it. It's like, there are amazing professional artists, and you're telling me that there are only there's only 30 people in the world who want to watch these people? Are you really telling me that? Like, No. There should be hundreds of people watching these guys do art. So many people enjoy doing art. Like, I don't... I don't know. Sometimes I think that I think Twitch is bigger than it is. Because when, like, big... When you think of it, like, a big stream has, like, 
200 300 views not like big big but a lot of the like established streamers have two to three hundred viewers two to three hundred people is not a lot yeah masky he enjoys streaming i was telling him the other day i was talking to him i was like i see why you like streaming over videos like i'm gonna keep doing videos obviously but I was like, I see why you like it. It's like just so calm and a lot of times you don't even, especially if you have like an established viewer base, you don't even have to have a plan. You just get on and you're like, let's play some Overwatch. But that Bob Ross is like, it's almost like a slap in the face. Like, I mean, not really, but like all these great Twitch artists with like no views and then the bob ross channel i don't know is it like a meme people like what's the chat like is it like just one big joke i don't know why there's so many people always watching it like i get it's chill but i don't know it's like therapeutic but but it's like all these amazing artists doing professional work and you're choosing to watch reruns of Bob Ross okay but you might as well be watching YouTube if you're watching the Bob Ross thing because it's not live streaming which is why it's a slap in the face to me it's not someone live streaming I mean it's a stream and it's live from someone's computer All right, just make sure that I have a chest with me. <clears throat> We're gonna make our way over that mountain and do a little bit of planning, road planning. Just take a stroll through this town while we're at it. I think I did a lot of things right here, but this is also an area I think, you know, after a while, I could come back to this area and improve a lot of things. I think I could now if I wanted to. But we're we're definitely not done here, so Yeah, that's what I hear. A lot of people like watch when I never watched him. Like I didn't even realize like I don't think I really knew who he was until like he became like internet not internet famous, but you know. I guess it's kind of like They've been doing the same thing with Power Rangers, haven't they? Pretty sure they were like rerunning Power Rangers on Twitch, which is cool. Like, I support Twitch and like them like getting deals with like rerunning TV shows. I think that's really cool and draws in a lot of people. I think we're about to see a lot more pre recorded stuff on Twitch. A lot of creators are upset at YouTube. Yeah. Until they un, until the day that skin to creative fly over. Just make sure I'm in the right area. I don't think I'd switch until well number one I'm small enough that if I were to switch only a handful of guys would follow me over to a different platform. Most people would like just not see me in their subscription box anymore and they wouldn't think twice about it. This has got to go. This is one ugly waterfall. Like, well, maybe we'll keep it there and just remember later that we can make that into a pretty waterfall. Um, so I, I've, if I were to switch now, it would be like starting over. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people don't see it as a video site, but... They're working on it. They're definitely working on it. Like, is there a way to view or search videos other than, like, going to a person's channel and being, like, looking through the clips? Like, I see people sharing clips a lot. I know that's popular. Sharing those 30 seconds, second clips. That's a great system. That was like the best thing that Twitch has done because it's allowed them to really share their stuff. You know what I need? 
I need to set up the beacon. Um, cheaty, cheaty, cheaty destruction. What do we have over here? A swamp. Ugh. I definitely want to stay over here. If we're over here, we're never going to see that swamp. We're going to be down here and... You know, this is... When I'm down here, when I was up there, I was like, this doesn't look like much, but... It actually doesn't... It, it feels like a pretty good space now that I'm down here. Where do I want to put this beacon? Do I want to do it right away? I feel like I want to clear out these trees. Let's just put the beacon down. But yeah, that, like clip thing is like the best way of like letting people remind reminding people hey twitch exists here's a 30 second clip because people are so much more willing to watch a 30 second clip of something happening than you know five minute video i don't get any views on twitch compared to youtube and beam that's because twitch is if twitch gets a lot bigger it's going to experience the exact same thing and become oversaturated with new people and Twitch is really good about the hosting. Big streams hosting small streams is like a blessing. It's great. But there are like so many people. It doesn't matter what you go into. Um, look, look past the first few streamers in any category and it's like zero views, zero views, one view, two views. Um... And I, I imagine it's just going to get worse the more popular Twitch gets. I use Twitch. I get live streams. The site. Twitch is so good for watching streams. I'm. Pr everyone pretty much use. I, I watch some of the old Minecraft guys are still on there. I watch Kurt. I watch Good. Um, it's just, it's a really great platform for it. And the hard thing about Twitch is you gotta have like 10,000 followers or something, or like 4,000 followers before you get verified. And by verified, I mean having the ability to get subs. And I know a lot of streams that have like a hundred subs and that's just not a whole lot. And certain communities are more willing to tip. Like I watch some streamers who get tips like it's got to be like $50 an hour. And then there's some where they almost never get actual donations. Which is, yeah, I reread I re that. All right, let's, that's not what I wanted. Let's set up a beacon and we're gonna be here for a long time. So what's the radius of beacons? I don't want it over there. I want it over here is probably like towards the center of, you know what? Ugh, I didn't mean to do that. Did I just screw up? Yes, I did. No, it changed the size. I have two different monitors of two different sizes and when I pull it over to the monitor that I'm using, it hides the, I can't see the durability of my tools, <laughs> basically. I'm going to change that really quick. So stick to YouTube streaming and you can't get rated. I hear people talking about Beam, but it's like Twitch is coming up. It's like it's not going anywhere anytime soon except up. So I just don't see how there's room for Beam. Um let me fix this size. What's the 16 by 9 size below? Uh, 
1152 by 648. Um, so YouTube raids are a thing because they're it's a thing in Twitch. I didn't even know it was a thing here. <laughs> Not gonna lie. My wife's going to bust through this door in seven minutes and tell me that she's giving me a birthday present. I can tell. Let's get back. Uh-oh. I guess. Resize. Well, dang. Where's my raids? <laughs> All right. Now I can see what I'm doing. I didn't know what was going on the first time. Yeah. It's so cool though seeing like a small streamer that had like like six viewers get rated with like two hundred viewers and then their notifications like go crazy like uh each time someone follows you they get a notification and pop up on stream and it's like non-stop and sometimes they have like really annoying ones and then it just like gets super annoying because they've got a whole bunch of new followers. And it, it like makes their day. It's fun to watch. Oh, wood. I'm gonna put a beacon right around here. Holy crap. World load in. <clears throat> it was worse because I use a bot that doesn't that does text to speech when chat is going crazy. But that's funny. I bet chat loved it. <clears throat> Usually, there is a guy that I uh, we I've been a part of raiding before, and he had a like text to speech thing. And I don't know if it's like a constant thing in his stream, but they were like sending all these vulgar messages, and he was like giggling like a kid. I was like, dude, I'm not sticking around for this. If this is like all you do, <laughs> I felt bad though. Okay, we need a lot of iron. Also, you can't make the stream on Beam take up as much space as Twitch. Yeah, I like Twitch's layout, the theater mode, where you make it take up like 80% of your screen and then chat's on the right side. I really like that. Okay, my beacon. How many blocks is it? Um, it's a lot. Is the bottom layer seven by seven? Do I want to do this in the ground? Oh, I'll move it to the ground another time. I think that's the bottom size. that sort of stuff about yeah see a new thing on a new feature on twitch is that you can do auto hosting so if you turn off your stream it'll just automatically host another person which is kind of cool but then it's like thanks for this thanks for the host oh it was just an auto host you're not even there but you know it spreads viewers and then it's hilarious when you're watching a stream with like a couple thousand viewers and it's like Billy Bob has hosted you with three stream three viewers. It's like thanks a lot. It's almost like small streamers going, Notice me. Return the favor. The bottom one's nine by nine, isn't it? 
Okay. Who is the third person watching? Probably that guy that said that he was going to fall asleep. <laughs> I did have a friend. I don't know if he's still watching. Probably not. I did have, like, an actual friend of mine. Um, that's 8x8. Eight eight. That was watching earlier. Can you not? Do I not have more iron than this? Do we already go through this much iron? It takes so much. Okay, there has got to be gold. Because I don't use gold for anything. I, think I am not a viewer. It is not counting me. If I were actually playing it, it would go up one. Like, I can play... I can show you. Uh, see, now the viewer count should go up one. I've played around with this. Oh, it's buffering. I'm not even, it's not working yet. I'm wondering about hosting. Does that mean, does that basically take away from your view count? See, now, now I'm watching my own stream and it went up to four. So it's not. Um, so ho hosting is like, if you're done streaming, um, so let's say I want to, finish up and I got 230 people watching me I'll say all right let's find someone to stream or someone to host um and then basically I'll I'd set my stream to show someone else's stream and then you'd like give a and then you like send them over to their channel it like would have a go to this person's channel thing and then it would automatically make your viewers view this person so people do it when they're done when they're finished with their stream like i've got all these viewers if i don't send them somewhere else and they're either just going to stop watching or they're going to go watch some like that josh og guy that i don't like so you're like no let's Let's raid another, if you're like a creative streamer, you're like, oh, okay, let's uh, send them to another creative streamer and help out the little dudes. Oh, I gotta make a bed. Uh, gosh, I don't have any. No, get out of here. I don't have any room for this. We're in danger. No, stop. What? Embarrassing. You're gonna give it to me now? With people watching? I don't care. I know you don't care. Huh? I know you don't care. This one's just so big small. It's gonna be underwear, isn't it? No, that's weird. That's weird. <laughs> I didn't wrap it, it's just in the package. Hold on. <laughs> Why my birthday yet? Oh, I didn't realize you had a video on you. Yeah. Do you still want me to open it? Yeah. It's not even weird. Well. Remember how you said you wanted to like mine? <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. You have two more presents. But you said you didn't want it. Okay. Yeah, I'll wait. Wow. Do you think you'll be disappointed? No, because then tomorrow's going to suck if I... If you... She got me a pillowcase because, because um, it's satin. I wanted a satin one, and because I keep kicking mine or taking mine off in my sleep, and I don't know how I do this. This one has a zipper on it, so. Does it really? Yeah, unless you can work a zipper in your sleep. That's hilarious. <laughs> so I keep like tearing my pillowcases off at night, and they end up like I don't even know where. So I have this pillow with no pillow case on it and, it's and holly's always like where the hell's your pillowcase going hello tommy so i got a pillowcase for my birthday <laughs> <laughs> i 
do I feel the auto hosting is bad? No, it's just like it removes the um, you know personal aspect of it. Like they didn't choose to host you. It's just they turned off their stream and it just sent people to you. Ta da! Ta da! I'll never lose another mystery <laughs> pillowcase. Feels like satin. <laughs> I can. Why? <laughs> Have a zipper on the pillow is the best thing ever. Word. I also love cold pillows. Will you close the door? The cats are gonna get in. Oh. Well, the cat wants the cat phone card. What if they want to see our cat? I don't want the cats in here. Cats are annoying. Get them out of here. Shoo. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. I like, like, cold pillows. Like, I'm always flipping it over. Um. And, uh, satin's cool. Yeah, it can help. Way too small to be helpful. I mean, even if it's just a few views and you find another small guy, like, like, it's annoying when people, or it's not annoying, but it's kind of like clickish when people just host big streams of big streams. Like, the Adobe channel, there's a, okay, so this is cool. Adobe, like, the company has a stream for art, and they have, like, different artists that take up two hour blocks so they'll have like this dude doing illustration for two hours and then it will switch to another dude and and they it's like different guys on different schedules so like a lot of the same guys show up a lot um so they'll do that for like eight hours a day and when they're all done you know it's it's like an adobe stream it's like they they have like quite a few viewers they always host like a nobody I know that's, that's mean. I'm a nobody. <laughs> they always host like somebody with no viewers or very few viewers that they think is doing cool art. Um, internet loves cats. It could. I'm afraid though. One of the, one of them would like tear up my chair, and one of them is really annoying, and the other one doesn't want anything to do with people. To be honest. Um, but yeah, it's like, this, I, I love Adobe, what they put on, and they don't like, I feel, when, when you think it's Adobe, you're like, oh, they just want your money, or at least I kind of thought that, but it's like, they don't even let you subscribe to the channel, like, for money, like, you're, when you subscribe to a channel on Twitch, you're basically giving them money, um, they don't even let you, because they insist that they don't want your money, that's not what it's about, they just want to share art, so it's like, it's su super cool. And they always share or host a little dude. I'm going to set this to um, haste. Haste 2. What are we waiting for? Start doing some art. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny in the BAM Minecraft. <laughs> I've considered streaming art, but I'm like, I don't know, I'm not confident enough with it yet. Like, I've been doing a lot of studies, art studies, and I think I know more than I can do. But that's a good thing. You should never be satisfied with your art. But still, I think I take too long still building some things. Um, where did I put all of my... I don't want mob drops. I want... Let's put this away. If this chest blows up, that's all of our diamonds. I know that would make for a great stream, but... Yeah, it is. And it's like... I found so many cool people through it. Like, so many helpful people. Like, there's guys who... 
if you're working on something, you can be like, hey, can I share uh, what I'm working on and get critique? And these are professional artists. And they're like, yeah. And they'll pull it up on stream and they'll say, I think you need to work on focusing on where your direction of light or source of light's coming from or something like that. And they're like, a lot of them will help you out with that. What am I looking for? Where did all of my... I guess I put in the plants one. I guess. I don't know where this stuff goes. Let's just put it in here. These chests are like, they're never going to stay organized for long. I should have known that. I'd never be able to do it. Um, I guess I want to make sure that I want to get rid of this section. Like, I can't really use this for anything building-wise, so I think it's definitely going to need to get flattened out. Like, there's using the terrain to your advantage, and then there's what would an actual city do. And we're thinking about what an actual city would do. So let's just tear this down. Pretty good at incorporating different design ideas into your animals and videos, because you do the same thing with some art. Yeah. 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 You need to only record when the sun is in the east. Word. Didn't think about that. Especially if I got shaders on. If I start recording on, with shaders on, I'm like, well, it's the afternoon. See you guys. <laughs> you can't see anything. <laughs> That's funny. Um, but yeah, and then there's a few of them. I'm subscribed to a few of these guys. Because they're like so helpful. And like, you got a question about Photoshop or something, they'll tell you. I also think the creative section of Twitch is like the most interesting. Like, the gaming, everyone's gaming, it's like the same thing, unless you got like some weird system on or like some huge amount of viewers and you're like doing fun things with them but with creative it's like there's people who are like sculpting there's a girl who like sculpts pokemon and dragons and stuff like these little clay sculptures that's all she does or all that i've seen her do and then there's like people who just do acrylic paintings um so they they get pretty interesting things that they're doing though it's not like cookie cutter video game streamers. Time for round two of stretching. Oh. Oh. Spent all day on my feet. And I was like, I can't wait to just not move all day. But now it's taking a toll on me. Some people have those standing up desks. Or desks that you can change from sitting down to standing up. You, I, I couldn't be able, I wouldn't be able to do that just because of the amount of space. Like standing up right now would be a thing, but, but they don't sound like a horrible idea. There's this one dude who streams Smite, and I used to make Smite videos. I still play it, but you know, it's like why make videos if you're not pro? But he's his name is the Barefoot Treadmill Gamer or something like that. His thing is that he plays video games while at a standing desk walking on a treadmill. Like, he's all he's got a camera on his feet. He's always walking on a treadmill while he's playing these games. It's pretty interesting. Put Minecraft and creative. Because I'm being creative. I'm sure I'm sure nobody would have problems with that. Like, this is art. This is the way that art should be. I don't think most people... I think most people are actually into art wouldn't say that. I think wannabe artists might say that. I think if it's any kind of video game platform... I'm not sure what they do about, like, VR art. If they make you move that. Probably not. And there's different sections within the creative 
thing. So there's probably, like, like there's a music section. I want to stand up desk, but I want a chair that's high up. So I don't have to move the desk up and down. Oh, so like a stool, like height. And then if you want to, you can just get down. That'd be cool. I, there's one streamer that I watch. He um he makes music. If you're familiar with Muse, the band, he's like heavily inspired by Muse, I think. But he makes like legit music on stream, like producing music. Dead Mouse, he streams. He streams making his music. Like that stuff's in the creative section. If you know uh, ba Player Unknown Battlegrounds. Uh, he's making a uh, an album that basically accompanies the game. So there's like different time sequences within the game where like the border of the map starts shrinking and whatnot. And like the the music is right along with it. New song starts or new like you get audio cues for that stuff. So like there's so many interesting things going on. I'm like, I really prefer creative lately over video game streamers. Just because they're always doing such crazy things. Dead Mouse. Is that not how you say it? You know, Dead Mouse? Like, Dead Mouse. Like, like Dead Mouse. Do they say five? Dead Mouse five? They don't say that, do they? like an idiot now that um like he's a famous dude and he streams there's a cool story um I'll actually share that for when Spartan gets back okay well Want to tell him about it. Oh, I hate when this happens. Every now and then, when you're clearing one of these things, you'll like get through it. You'll reload the map, and then uh, you'll see all these blocks that didn't actually get cleared. Okay, I want all this stone. I need cobblestone, like actual cobblestone. I need to switch from my silk touch at some point. I'm going to make a few chests, some regular chests for all this. Okay, well, I have plenty for stone. Let's get you out of here. Okay, we have plenty of room for stone. And I have a box for dirt, but I'm pretty sure it's full. Yeah. So I don't know if I just want to get rid of it. I feel like I'm never gonna use up all this dirt. When you when you do do terraforming though, it like takes up a lot of dirt. Never heard of them. It's not new though. It's like it's like electronic. It's not dubstep. He's from he's like before dubstep. Like well, anyway, I'll just say the story. He was streaming, and he was, like, working on this song for his album. And, um, I know what I can do here. So he was working on his song for his album, and he basically had the instrumentals down. And this guy in his chat was like, hey, I did a, a voiceover of your song. Would you like to listen to it? And he was, like, he was joking. He was like, oh, great. This is going to be wonderful. Some random guy in my chat wants to do a voice or wants to show me him singing over my song. And he plays it, and he's, like, blown away. And he he ends up using it. Um, and he, like, gives the guy, like, credit in the song, and, like, he gets paid and everything. But he, he just, like, loves his random guys singing over this song. I do need a junk chest, but it just... I could have, like, 20 junk chests. I'm just gonna ignore... Ugh. Okay, I'm just gonna come back to... Oh. Let's see, this is gonna be dirt. Nope, where is it? Right here. Dirt. 
I listen to things before we... I listen to a lot of... I listen to a lot of old rock as well. Kansas was recently um, in our town. Like the rock band Kansas. And I told my friend and she's like, you listen to Kansas? How old are you? I was like, come on. It's like, that wasn't that old. Like, yeah, people still listen to classic rock. Chill. Like, sorry that I'm that I haven't heard the new Kendrick Lamar album. It's like cool, but not that old. Have we made any progress on this hill? It feels like I've just started touching the top of it. <laughs> Terraforming is going to be a big part of this. Or, well, a little. It's fairly flat. It shouldn't be too bad. We have lots of room for stone, though. Do you play any instruments, Gecko? Seems like I feel like I feel like most people who like music from that era learn instruments. And right click with your. What? That's new to me. Dude, no one has told me that. When I'm hungry. I'm I'm a little hungry, but let's go to Burger King for my birthday. Let's go to Subway. She can pay for her Subway foot long. I mean, if it's good, why would I want to try? Well, I don't know. Steak sounds good. Are there any, like, I don't know. Let's go to Lamb's Grill. Just kidding. The place next to our restaurant that got shut down. They, yeah, they were shut down for a little bit for alcohol violations. But now they're, like, shut down for good, apparently. And apparently it just happened because... I don't know, because Greg used to work there, our new cook, and he was like, he said that he used to work there, but the owner lost $2 million out of pocket last year, because because they had to serve, I can't remember if they had to close down for two months or stop serving alcohol for two months after an alcohol violation. But apparently it killed the business, and now they're they have a sign on their door saying that they're closed indefinitely. Yeah, and apparently they used to be really good. So, don't serve alcohol to minors. Who does that? I did that. It was an accident. It wasn't my fault. It was not my fault. I, the Department of Alcoholic Beverage Consumption, said it was not my fault. They did. They did not make me pay. They Stupid let me off. The made you pay. the court made me pay, yeah. and they made me pay like half of what it normally is. Yeah. But yeah, Kansas was here. Did you know that? You know Kansas, right? The band, yeah. rock band. You know, um, you know, um, Dust in the Wind. Yeah, they sing that. I was surprised I didn't get called into work tonight. They were like begging me to stay. Uh, well, why didn't you? I'm tired. Still got room. This is the fun stuff that we do on stream. I'm not building anything, Holly. I'm tearing stuff down. <laughs> a new city. I'm starting a new project. I finished my orc stronghold. Like an imperial, like like an imperial city, like solitude, kind of, but not like not solitude. Like a. I'm sure people have. 
I've gotten like multiple suggestions and comments that are like, you should build White Run. I'm like, I'm trying to take creative liberties in my work. <clears throat> like I get it, but it would take. Too much oh, it did work. It would take a long time to build something that wasn't even mine. Like at the end, I'd be like, well, there's White Run. I played trumpet once, white, but I copied the finger next to me. <laughs> Fifth grade. I played trumpet. I was first chair trumpet. Three people are watching you. Four, Holly. <laughs> okay. I don't just have a fidget. I just wanted to know. You don't like the smell of alcoholic drinks? Yeah, we don't really drink either. We have friends that are like, like, like practically drink. alcoholics, and they're like, we're going to get you drunk for your birthday. I they'll probably forget that's my birthday, but I was like, I like cider. You should try the cider that I tried before. It's pretty good actually. But yeah, like I can't like the bitter aftertaste of beer. I'm like not about that. Cause my inventory's full. But I don't want to pick it all up. I want the stone. Because I'm always going through stone. Yeah. But yeah, there, okay, I'll show you. I'm building... Not really for you. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm building around here. And I'm, there's just like these mountains and stuff that are in the way. And I do not want in the way. The castle's going to go like over here. Um, and there will be like room for a bay here and I got some cool opportunities for working with bridges around here with all these rivers. And I think like the bulk of the city is going to be out here. It's a big city. Yeah, it's going to be a big project. I don't know, maybe, maybe I won't have to go as big because I just did like a build study of a place that was not that big, but when you were walking around it, it felt big. Just build white run. I'm not going to build white run. <laughs> Although, uh, Billy Bob Minecraft 723 requested it. Build an entire replica of Skyrim. Everything. I was actually just trying to get on a server of people who are basically doing a replica of. Tolkien's Middle Earth. How do you even do that just from like. Probably just from lots of references and. Seems way harder. Yeah, but Tolkien. I don't know if they're going off of like I mean, I guess there the movies. Tolkien like... left a lot of maps. He like did art for. I think it's his own stuff. He did maps of everything. He left maps of the Mo Morian Mines, and I put a link in Discord. Um, they're like. It's like a crazy map. Um. But they, they, it looks good. Like they're huge projects. I'll show you a video sometime. I don't know. White Run just seems like when you think about it, White Run's like vanilla. Twelve video, twelve houses. <laughs> like Solitude would be more exciting. No. But if you like do a cluttered style of detailing, I think you could make it feel bigger than it is. Yeah, it's kind of like um like White Run doesn't look that big when you're on the mountain looking down on it, but when you're in it, you know, it takes a moment to walk through it. Can you people even hear her? He makes all of the, um, all the towns folk, like, go into the bar and stuff at night. So it's a lot more lively. Oh, and heck like, yeah. That's like, it's like my favorite. But, <laughs> but that's like, I don't know, so many people that are like, hey, do this stuff for me. I do like that mod, though. I like the mod that adds... I forget which noise mod. I use a few noise mods. One of them like adds a bar environment noise when you're outside the bar. Yeah. Tate was on my stream earlier. 
he gets notifications on his phone or something because he was there like right away. Um, I guess not. I mean, it, it, we are going on three hours. You can hear her? Okay. I'll turn it back down then. <laughs> Time's the movie tomorrow? That was one. Are you sure? Nine in the morning? No, PM. Girl. I mean, I was just gonna Only this one's in that day, so. Why? It's dark in the theater either way. I don't know. It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> It'll feel like night if you just don't go to sleep tonight. Okay. Let's stay up and play Breath of the Wild. You can. I will. That'd be I how I spend my birthday. Anybody else playing Breath of the Wild? John got a Wii Switch. What? Yeah. Why did I let him get a Switch? Right. We have a friend that married <laughs> a girl from India. He, like, met her on a mission trip. And she was like, I don't know if she's ever really had anything to do with video games. But she's, like, just not into it. And he loves video games. Yeah, and he's going to get Mario Kart and try to get her to play it. I was like, I'm I'm sure he'll get her to play, like, a few games here and there. Yeah. She could. She likes doing crafts and stuff, I think. I wonder if... Yeah. I know. I know. All right, let's pick up this dirt. Yeah, you bought one when we were poor. I played Minecraft because my PC does not. Somehow, I got on Amazon at the exact right time and was able to order one. Right. Even now, I think they're hard to get because I saw like a yeah. something on like Reddit where they're like, Amazon has switches, buy them fast. I'm just switching this out to grass. So are the ones that they're selling now functioning better than ours? <laughs> she simply tolerates me playing games. Yeah, I don't know if she tolerates it. She, John mentioned that that she wants to reduce his amount of game time. And I don't think... He's a pretty like quiet and easygoing guy. And I don't know if I've ever really seen him mad. Except for when one girlfriend tried to tell him how to, like, how to be. Yeah. Yeah. But he was like, maybe I can like take a while from video games. She to, like, take a, take year, a year, off. year off. Like, what good is that gonna be? Like, heck no. We can see your right through you. You're gonna like want him to keep not playing after that. Yeah. A year? So I don't know if she tolerates it or if he just does it anyway. his life. Use it when you need it. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh. So I can play video games all I want. I know. This is when uh, oh gosh. When MC edit would be really nice. 
PC is like six years old. Yeah, my PC is not that great either. Saving up for one, but what the one I was all freaking out. I was doing that because it was like, see, look. Sometimes they'll like, uh, they'll, they'll move up. So if I pop. <laughs> Okay. Oh wow. That's what smells burnt. Oh, uh, but yeah, like, I don't know, it's weird. <coughs> She's like, you can take a year off of playing games. He's like, heck no. When I get a new computer, I am not getting a laptop. Like, it's nice if you're casually gaming, but man, games just... I guess I don't know much about modern, and when I say modern, I mean like new gaming laptops. But it seems like a lot of games being released now are just so intensive. Like, even Player Unknown Battlegrounds, it doesn't look that good. <laughs> And it's like, I tried playing it, and it was just, it was playable, but it was just like, too much latency. I was like, dude, this game looks like it's, like I get, it's because it's an indie game, but come on, I, I should be able to run this. Like, every new release, I just can't play. Unless it's like, Planet Coaster or something. Actually, I heard that game's pretty intensive too. I might be wrong on that though. Why does middle clicking not work? I do not want this crap. Get out of here. We're, gonna, we're three hours into the stream. Man, some people do like eight hours. Like all the time. I don't think I could do another five. Well, because one, that would bring me into the sunset practically. I'm going to need, oh, I have plenty of coke. Just sipping. Oh yeah, I wanted. I was gonna tell a story, Glenn, while you were, but uh, you were gone. Um, are you you're familiar with Dead Mouse, right? Make sure you're still here. <clears throat> I don't know how the youths say it. Do you say Dead Mouse or do you say Dead Mouse Five or? Not interested in those new games, but sometimes I want to try something, but no, can't play that. <clears throat> yeah. Pretty much the same. Like, most of my gaming decisions are driven by what my friends are playing. You know them. He streams on Twitch. Like, that guy. He makes his. He makes his music on Twitch. <clears throat> you have no idea. I'm glad I'm not alone then. Which I thought was super cool. And, uh, I was saying that, uh, I saw this clip where, uh, I thought it was Dead Mouse, but. There's this clip where, so he's like working on this uh, video, or a, a song, sorry. And it's a, uh, just gonna chill for a moment. He's working on the song. And uh, he's just got like instrumentals in place. And um, this guy in his, in his comments is like, I want you to listen to this. I did a voiceover on your song, or I did I I did vocals, a vocal track for your song. And he's he makes a joke or something about how it's like some random guy wanting to show him his singing, and he loves it <laughs> like so much that it's it's 
the official song now is with this dude's vocal track and he's like got credit for it and paid and everything and there's lots of other people who make music and play music on on there got snapchats i'm going to check them out got my hat around backwards and i can't put my head back yeah right can you imagine being that dude like i'd be so nervous to like send my vocals to dead mouse on on camera <laughs> i literally got snapchats from a guy i don't know pictures of drunk people passed out at some event he'll get big time and still do it yeah like he's always streaming like i mean like a lot and his streams aren't huge either i mean they're pretty big but like they're not so big that he can't interact or anything I'll find that clip. I don't know what it's called. Can vocals, will that bring it up? Yes. Uh Check this out if you have a moment. I could play it here. I don't know if there's like rules against playing other people's videos. I don't know. Can't even get replies. You know, I like hop into Good's chat every now and then and he'll like say hi to you. Kurt, I've had I've like, you know. Had Kurt say hey. Your social media. Well, I, I do like some racing. And I put my uh, Snapchat out there for other people who share my hobby. So then I can see other people like what they're doing in the garage and stuff. And, and I'll send them stuff. Because I don't really have a whole lot of people I actually know on Snapchat. Like, not enough to make me actually want to use it. <clears throat> yeah, check that video out sometime. Alright, I pretty much want all of these trees down, I think. Get some good wood out of it, at least. But, um, this is a city. These are not going to be here. If there are any trees in the city, they are going to be strategically placed. I'm not building around the terrain. That's not what we're doing. I mean, around shrubs and trees. Terrain, yes, to an extent. I'm going to work these cliffs, like, shape them to the way that I want them. Why don't I have legs on my bed? It was fast. Yeah. <clears throat> it does get kind of fast for some people, but, um, and some people don't care to keep up with their chat, and then there's other streams where, you know, if they miss it, they'll scroll up and they'll read everything, and, and read through everything until they're caught up, then they'll continue, continue what they're doing, so it kind of depends. I can't imagine that if I am a person, I shouldn't say this, <laughs> if I'm a person playing a game catered towards a younger demographic that I'm going to want to reply to every comment. <laughs> but here I am. <clears throat> Strangely enough, almost all of my demographic is adults. I don't know how long I can keep that up, but for now it is.
bug? Did it not send or what? That video? I don't know if it worked. Uh, some guy on Twitter. Oh dang, I just lost my chat. Oops. <clears throat> it sucks that if you click a link out of my chat, it doesn't open in a new window. I just... Hold on. I can't see my chat. There it is. I only occasionally comment or share things to bigger YouTubers because I assume they get so much. Oops. So much of that stuff they couldn't possibly see it all. <clears throat> yeah. I mostly just like say. Just like hey, because you know it's fun to see familiar faces when you're doing this stuff. Like if you guys are in this in the stream, like even if the if my chat were moving fast, I'd still want to see that you're here. Instead of like a hundred people that I don't recognize. Oh yeah, the bed. Yeah, sorry, there's a little bit of a delay. So So sometimes it's hard to tell exactly what you're talking about. Um. <clears throat> I wonder what point at what point I should make another video here. Like, what should I do for my next, for my first video in this area? Just a video on city planning, maybe. I think one of my more viewed videos is a video that's like how to plan a, for, a floor plan. But it could have also been a video after a tutorial. Like my last video has quite a few views now. Because I got some views from that tutorial and people see, they're like, oh, what else does this guy make? And then they go and watch that. Let's play. <clears throat> yeah, I'll probably do it on that. I'm trying to make sure that oh, this is one hell of a tree. <laughs> a crazy tree. I'm gonna leave you. Uh, I'm trying to make every video not like about something. So just like video number sixty, whatever I'm on, dinking around with. The same building that we've been building for the past three episodes. Yeah, no one's going to watch that. No one cares. But when they see, oh, you're doing a video spe or an episode specifically on walls. I'm going to watch that, learn some little about walls. It's definitely a theme with it. Yeah, I need to, like, I don't know, it could be one a good video to, or a good time to make a video where... I don't necessarily need to build anything. I always feel bad if I don't get something built. But then I watch other people, and sometimes I'll watch B-dubs do an episode, and at the end I'm like, I just realized he didn't build a dang thing this episode. I really don't want all these saplings, but I got them. Might as well keep them, because I'm probably going to have to get more wood as we go. There's going to be a lot of stone in the city, but it's not going to be, uh, definitely not all going to be. Doing videos are hard. It is. Um, I think me and Spartan once had a conversation about how Minecraft videos were by far the hardest game to make videos for because pretty much every other game you can just hop on and play. With this, it's like five hours of building, sometimes more. Um, and like recording at different intervals. And it's, you're not just playing either. You gotta, you're like, you're trying to make something no one's ever made before or, or teach something that someone doesn't know. So it's definitely hard to make these videos. I don't know why I keep trying to sleep. Like it's daytime. Come on, get an overhead view here. Is there anything else that we need to 
a stone quarry. That could be good. I've seen like pictures of other people's stone quarries where they like they make them look nice, like not necessarily functional, but or maybe functional, but they actually make them look nice. And they are a pretty cool addition. I think I want to get rid of this. Am I still within range of haste? No, I'm not. How close do I have to be? Oops. Now I'm within range. So somewhere between here is the edge. Um, yeah, I think I want that gone. I have a lot more opportunities. Because I'm not going to build like a house on top of there. That's not realistic. Nobody's going to do that. Try to point out things and how your eye looks at it. Right. I think that's an important thing that people sleep on. Jesus, I'm 23. Ugh. I'm feeling 23. Alright. I think I have multiple picks. You know what, let's grab um, let's grab a pick to get some some cobble. I swear I have a uh, efficiency 5. That one. But that one's getting pretty worn down. Oh wait. Here, I got one right here. Right in my inventory. We'll use that. Let's get some actual. And we're not leaving this one out. Those are all of our goodies. Oops. <laughs> we'll move the beacon with commands. You won't tell anyone. It's close enough that I'm gonna get it on on my way back. Clearing this if I just go back and forth. So I'm not too worried about it. I mean, do a stone quarry with some animated builds. It, yeah, that could be a cool thing to do an animated, like an animated drill. Or, I was trying to think, if you could somehow sim stimulate, stimulate, simulate uh, stone being removed. But there's no way that you could do that without putting it back, Right. Turn 21. Yeah, I'm right. Still young, though. Still super young. We'll complain about how old we are for another 10 years, and then we'll realize, hey, we're actually, we're actually getting kind of old now. You could do a, like a crane moving back and forth or something in a quarry. I don't know. I, th I think you got options. Stick pistons. You don't need stick pistons for what he does. Have you ever checked out Spartan? You don't know about Spartan Overdrive? He does lots of cool things with animating blocks. Um, like a windmill going round and round, or a uh, tram line taking you up a mountain. He does some cool stuff like that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Burn. Wrecked. Think about a loading system down to the bottom. Yeah, that could be cool. <laughs> it's okay. Me and Spartan are here yeah, in the same boat. Come on, please tell me that I'm close. Oh, I'm not. In Wait, no. Okay, I keep like opening this up and think I'm in creative. How close do I have to be? You're telling me that I'd have to be closer than this? No way. Oh no, I got it on me. Where does it show effects? Only up there? What happened to them showing over here? Okay, whatever. I want to see the timer on it. On what? Okay, whatever. 
Think about doing cream gang logs. <laughs> Not people know about you. Many people know about you. Ain't that the truth? Uh, how we do. That's okay though. I like to think that someone knows about me though. Somewhere, somewhere out there. You know, I, I've realized like I know B Dubs has seen my videos. I know Wells is sub to me there's probably some like bigger minecraft guys who have maybe even talked about me and i'll never know because i have no idea who 99 percent of the minecraft youtubers are um don't tell anyone about do this i'm not going back over to that bed you know about me <laughs> How did we how did I find you? Did you find me or did I find you? I'm trying to remember. I remember like seeing I remember seeing your first video at like right after it came out. Did you come to me? The crane? Yes. I think I, I did see it. Cranes are cool, especially when you make them, like... I have to keep going back to get this buff. Especially when you make them so that they look, like, not modern. They can look really cool. But, like, I've thought about doing cranes, but I just kind of want to copy the good ones I've seen, and that's not what I do. Probably through detail craft. Um, see, that's what I'm thinking, but I remember seeing your video with, like, the Nintendo video. Did you do a video? Was one of your first videos a Minecraft video on... Was that one of your videos on turning real-life builds to into Minecraft? Or in real-life real buildings into Minecraft? It was one of those videos that. Let's uh, get rid of you, yo, yo, yo. Let's keep the gravel for the sake of concrete. Let's get rid of yo, yo, yo. That should be good for now. Yeah, that Donkey Kong. Because for some reason there's a Donkey Kong picture in Minecraft. That makes sense. Man, I need to take my contacts out tonight. I have contacts I'm supposed to take out every night, and I don't. And when the like do eye doctors looked at my eyes last time, they're like, your eyes are like not getting oxygen. I was like... Okay, what does that mean for me? Like, well, you gotta get these contacts so you can get some oxygen to your eyes. I was like, okay, well, now I just don't take them out so they don't work. You gotta change these out every month. Heck, no, I can't afford to do that. Import a house from Google Maps. Yep. I just, like... I don't know what it would have been if it wasn't detail craft. Oh well. Yo, my vi my tutorial did not do good on detail craft. I was surprised. Like everything I've posted there has been like instantly uploaded. This was like, I don't know if it was deleted, because I like, I glanced at it from my phone, from mobile, um, from my normal account, and it was like, I couldn't find it. So I don't know if they like, got rid of it, but it was like, it did not care about me. Okay, glasses, I don't want, I, well, I kind of want like, nice glasses, like, stylish glasses. I used to hate glasses, because there was like... You know, like, stigma to them. 
stigma, get stigmatism. Uh, but now they like the glasses are in style, but those glasses cost like three hundred dollars. So, and my I my health insurance didn't cover uh, it, or it won't for a little while. So, there's a block around here. I just ran into a block. What? Did I not just run into a block? Hey, your right click thing isn't working. Um, hello? Where are you? There it is. Well, that's too bad. No. Hold on. But it's your birthday. They do get auction dies. Nothing? Nothing. That sentence made total sense without any context. No. My hair's crazy today. Don't. You're gonna ruin my birthday. I don't care. It's all about me anyway. I clicked all over that thing. What? 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 I'm talking to my chat. I'm not talking to you. You think you're the most important person here right now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. If you insist. things that you would want? Uh, sure. Okay. Butt full. You can only right click if it's touch another block. Well, whose stupid idea was that? I mean, really. Still is taking forever. This is where Elytra would be really nice. Hey Spartan, thanks for modding my channel, keeping everything in in order today. <laughs> that would be modding, yeah. This hill looks smaller yet. <laughs> what you mean, do nothing? <laughs> uh. I kind of wish I could get some trolls. Trolls are fun every now and then. There's this one streamer that I've been watching on Creative, and um, he's like outwardly gay, so you can imagine like the kind of awful, like stupid trolls he gets. Um, but they're always like really bad trolls. Like he's always like, I love trolls, but I never get any good ones. Um, so people like coming in and like just saying like uh, slurs against gay people, and it's like. It's like, you gotta try better than that. That's not even entertaining. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, good trolls are hard to come by. <laughs> like, the good trolls are the ones who will 
get banned and then donate to your stream so that they can send you hate messages. It's like, you can't stop my PayPal. One of these days, I'll let you get the ban hammer out. Some random guy comes out and be like, "Okay, you can you can get this guy out of here." Maybe like one of those. I don't know how many guys we had come in here today. Who's like, "Hi," and I never saw them say anything again. That's okay though. I think I said this earlier, I don't know if either of you were in here, but I had a, a soft goal and a hard goal for my birthday. The soft goal was to have a sub a day, which would have put me at 280 by my birthday, which obviously we got. The hard goal was hitting 300, and I think I'm going to be just short of it. I don't know what I'm at now, but need to get the ender pearls out. I can tell a building in here is going to be real fun. I, they, I need to make like the bridges a priority, or at least temporary bridges. Yeah, right. Comment is on my VOD forever. 294. I lost a sub today. <laughs> what was that? 295. I'm at 296 on my count. I'm gonna refresh. And I turn back around. Ain't no reason to stay here. I listen to the same music all day, every day at my job, and it's like stuck in my head. Yeah, I got 296 according to my thing. It does not look appealing the way I have my hat. Unless I can grab four strangers from the internet tomorrow. I can be like Evan. Geckos, do you know Evan from Z's server? That, that might be before you showed up. I shouldn't say anything. This video is going to end up on... It's going to go up live, so I won't say anything. Well, you know what? It's great. He, like... I remember he would, like, come on and, like beg people to sub to him. And now he's got like 700 subs or something. I don't know if he like begged them all. Maybe maybe he changed his ways. I don't really know, to be honest. But he was just like begging me. And I remember we had a problem with it. And I was a mod for Z, so I was like, I was like, you gotta stop doing that. And he was like complaining to Z about me. And I was like, try me. Touch me. You think you have power here? About time to put the shovel away. Grab a new one. No. You'd know. His username is like Evan something. Er, no. Well, I'm not going to say it was... <laughs> Were you around for the previous server? Like, before this server started up, we had another server. I'm not going to say his in-game name, but... It's not, it's not someone who's, like, still around actively in Z's community.
take this part out with painful YouTube editor after the fact. Yeah, word. I can talk trash all I want. It'll just have this weird cut in the middle of it. What was I here for? Oh yeah, shovel. Creeper check. Um, what do I have? I guess I could use that. Oh, here we go. Efficient. It's even better than what I had. Is efficiency five with haste any faster than efficiency four with haste? I feel like it really can't get much faster. I feel like this is going to be, if it is faster, it's going to be, like, painfully fast. I'm going to destroy things on accident. Wish I was. This community is great. Yeah. It's weird to see what works as far as growth goes. There's a lot of big, annoying young kids. Yeah, but if that's, like, what he's doing, then, like, I don't expect it to work for much longer. If that's all he's doing. Maybe, you know, he makes some strange videos. Maybe he's just, like, got his own niche that no one else has. <laughs> but, I don't know. I remember him, like, asking everyone to subscribe to him. I was like, no. I don't even like asking at the end of my videos. Like, I do it. I'm like, leave a like and subscribe. Don't, I like don't even want to because <laughs> if I'm not gonna probably not gonna convince anyone they're not gonna watch a 30 minute let's build episode and be like and and they're gonna hear me say leave a like and subscribe if you haven't and they're gonna be like hey I, I think I'm good and I'm subscribe to this guy after half an hour of watching him wasn't good to him before but now I will since he asked yeah, I'm like, yeah right person comes and goes. Yeah, though, I need to get back into playing some Breath of the Wild. It's so fun. Breath of the Wild's really good and like... Just because there's like one way that's maybe intended to solve a problem or a puzzle, there's like five more to it solutions if you want to get creative so I'm like they have these actual like puzzles so to get hearts and stuff you have to like solve all these puzzles and free every three puzzles that you solve you can get a heart thing and um it, it drives Holly crazy but um I always try to solve them in like weird or inventive, if, if you'd like to be nice about it, ways. Um, like, there's this, uh, I think this is, like, a common way people have done this, because I've seen jokes about the same level, but there's a level where there's this platform, and you control the tilt of it with your controller, and it has a maze on it, so you, it, it has a ball in it, and you're trying to get the ball through the maze and then out one side, so I took the controller like this, and I flipped it upside down, dropped the ball into nowhere, and then the bottom of the platform was, like, flat. So I just, like, rolled it off, and Holly's like, really? <laughs> so there's, like, so many crazy ways to do everything. It's so fun. It is nice, and I haven't even gotten that far. Do you guys know Costar? He's one of the Minecraft guys. There's this hilarious clip where there's like this mount that you can get where it's it's a moth horse or something. It's like this blue glowing horse, and Ko's like, I got a moth horse, uh, and he's like singing, and then it like just disappears, like runs off and disappears in the wind, and he's like, oh no! 
I didn't even get a picture of it. Ayo, hey, sounds like so genuinely sad. It's one of those games where you can like be have fun being stupid for a long time, and it's my kind of game. Stumbled over my end. What does that mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, the end. Okay. I have lots of friends. I have one friend in particular who likes doing, like, puzzle games and whatnot and board games. Like, I'm not talking, like, your, like, mainstream. That sounds so hipster. But, like, not like your, like, household board games. But he has, like, um, when I lived with him, his count was, like, 240 board games of all different kinds for all different and and our apartment was like the hangout place for all of our friends so like any given night i'm talking like monday through sunday it didn't matter if it was a school night or, or if like college classes in the morning or whatever we would have like 10 people come by our apartment throughout the day and they wouldn't knock they just walk right in like it was the hangout place for everyone um and he had like 200 board games and um, for every occasion, and we played board games and video games and stuff like that every freaking day. Man, I wish I could go back to that. Everybody moved apart, but we still play... Still play video games together. And that is why, like, mostly what, like, shapes what I play now. Um, if I'm not playing something for this, or for, like... Like Breath of the Wild, something I just want to play myself. Like Skyrim, I'll play by myself. Other than that, it's like what they ask me to play or what they want to play together. But yeah, he tried to get me to play Portal, and I played some. Can't remember how far I got or why I didn't finish. I think it's because he had already played it, and I was like, eh, you already know the solutions to all this. Isn't that the story of owning Steam, though? I bought... What was it? I'm going to pull up Steam in here. I bought a series of games... Um, Bioshock. I bought every Bioshock I've, in my library. Bioshock, Bioshock Remastered, 2, 2 Remastered, and Bioshock Infinite. And I think I got all of them for, like, ridiculous, like, $5 each. And I haven't even installed them. And that was 6 20, 2015 Almost two years ago I bought those because they were, like, such a good deal. And then I have, like, Shadow of Mordor I actually want to play. I got it for, like, half off, but it was, like... The file's huge. <laughs> I just, like, haven't made space for it. Do you like games with, like, stories that are, like, reading? Like, lots of reading? Like, this Zelda game has really good story, which, like... Zelda's whatever, it's not, I wouldn't say that's like, has usually has the best and most immersive stories. But when there's games that are like, you gotta read to get the story, I'm like, nah. No thanks. Which is weird, because Fire Emblem is like, my favorite franchise, and that's one of the games like it. We need to bring this down another block. Not sure though. 
Thank you, housing name. How are you doing tonight? Or this morning if you're across the across the pond. I suppose it'd be about that time for them for a lot of Europeans to be getting up. Probably what around eight o'clock over there. Thank you for joining. We're just doing a little bit of uh you know boring work. We're getting ready to build a new area. We're kind of prepping this area to uh to get some real good work done. We're gonna be building a a big city. But you know, this is all the work that no one wants to do in a video. So we do it in live streams. Um catch up on chat. Have every Bioshock 2 still need to play them. I got mine for five bucks too. Yeah, it's like a sale. We must have gone on like same sale. Wolfenstein. See, it's so weird. I love good stories, but I hate reading them. Like, and I don't necessarily mind reading like an actual book, but when I'm playing a video game, I'm usually like wanting to play. Oh man, we have so much stone. I'm excited about this. We're gonna fly through this stone. It's not gonna last nearly as long as I think it's gonna. You are in the UK, ha. Huh? Look at me being culturally sensitive. I don't know why I say that. I just took a final for uh, cultural psychology and a big part of it is um, how to be culturally sensitive. <clears throat> it was actually pretty interesting. I thought it was going to be like kind of a bunch of, like a lot of the cult or psychology classes I've taken are kind of like, I don't want to say like nonsense, but it's like, at least to me, not that important. Just be, or like not that applicable, I should say. Not that it's not important. This one was actually pretty interesting about, like I read a paper about how a Hispanic woman had gone um, in in Arizona or something had gone like twenty years misdiagnosed for um, what she had was bipolar disorder and she had been diagnosed as, with depression for like twenty years under like seven different doctors because she couldn't or had never had a doctor that spoke Spanish. It's like. I can't, one, I can't believe that she couldn't find a doctor in that amount of time that could speak Spanish, especially in the, that far in the South. Um, and two, it's like, that's a good chunk of her life that was um, hindered because of it. So it was actually pretty interesting. But now I've learned about being culturally sensitive. Um... I don't want a video game to make me read a lot. I just, yeah, yeah, the story to happen around you, exactly. Ultimate Hitcher, right, that's a good book. I haven't actually read it, but like, I have like some friends who insist that's a good book. So I'm assuming it's a good book. They made it into a movie, a really ridiculous one, but found you. Thanks for telling me about that, that's so cool little trick I don't think that we need to cut it down much further than this but we should probably cut it one more down and replace it with grass um, we can kind of conform to the terrain to an extent it's mostly gonna be I'm not going to have a house on the side of a hill. Um, so like it goes up from down there, but I think that's okay if we have a bridge. Like here. This might get... Have to, I don't know what we're going to do with this. This hill might also have to get taken down. Maybe flatten it out. This hill could maybe... 
get shaved down a little bit. These peaks are going to have to go down. Just flatten this out a little bit. Again, this is like a highly um, colonized, um, it's highly established city that this is going to be. So let's think about how actual cities build around terrain. Like they'll cut it, and like highways cut into terrain. They're not afraid to do that. Um. I hate my journal psychology class. I cannot understand the book. Yeah, like the like this was a three th a, like a junior level class, and it was pretty interesting. The freshman level classes that I've taken were a lot of like logic classes. Like, does this really need to be a college class? Like, you could didn't even have to study. It was like if you could use some logic, you'd know the answers to the tests. But but this was a good class. Um. I like reading good books. Problems I don't know if it's good without spending a few hours in it first, right? You gotta just pick up what's popular. And... I'm good with machines, right? Do I use mods? I do not. This uh, so this world is my like primary world. Um, where. Almost all my work goes into, and it is a fully vanilla building focused series. Um, pretty much everything in this series is dedicated to building, build theory, um, you know, and, and, and I try to push my limits. I try to make really good builds. I don't know a dang thing about redstone, and I've never used a mod pack. Z had asked me at some point if I would ever be interested in doing a mod pack with him. Um, I think he started one, but he didn't ask me if I want to do it with him. Because <laughs> he was hesitant, I remember, because he didn't know if he would be... Uh... He didn't know exactly what his plans would be for it. But I told him... Uh, I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't do it on my own. I would maybe do something like that with other people, though. I kind of feel like if I don't know, any, if I have a hard time with redstone, that I'd have a hard time with a lot of these uh, mod packs. But then again, you know, you watch guys like Good; they always do mod packs. I don't think he knows a dang thing about redstone. I'm not sure though. Ranger's Apprentice is a good series of books. Yeah, there's like... You know, I, I was kind of thinking... It's surprising to me... That there aren't more... Good books with well-established universes. Like, you know how Tolkien's universe is like... Very well-established and very complex... How many people out there are there that would love to create their own universe? Like, that's like a pretty common goal, I think. But how many good books are there that accomplish that? Very few. It's strange to me. Like, there's so many good artists and stuff, but so few people good at writing books? My voice is starting to crack. Like, why are there so, why does it seem like there's so few good people making or writing books compared to, like, everything else? How many good musicians are there? Like, they're everywhere, right? Like, just being a good musician isn't really, like, cut it anymore. Time to go to bed. Yeah, I'm sure mod is definitely better with other people. If it ever, like, becomes an opportunity, I would consider it, like. Oh, but for now, I put a lot. Uh, this is what I want to. I'm still, like, growing and stuff, and this is what I want to be, like, known for. Like, I want to be known as someone who makes quality builds. So this is what I'm going to focus on. doing it in Minecraft, right? But you get my point, right? Like, why aren't there more people? And I'm... 
I'm sure part of it is like a lot of people who want to do that are basically copying Tolkien. Like how many books are there or worlds? Tolkien basically uh basically like reimagined elves. Like elves used to be like these crazy short little goblin type things, right? He completely reimagined them, and now that's the standard for elves. Like, most people just want to copy Tolkien when they're creating something like that. It's hard to stray from that. He set the st standard. I didn't want to do mods until I saw Chisel and Bits. I wouldn't mind doing a mod pack focused on building with mods like that. I just don't think I have time to build them. Not going yet. Okay. <laughs> I sleep loose. I don't know how much longer I'll stay on. I'm good for a little bit here, but I'm not sure what I want to do after this little section here. So it might be a good stopping point, especially if everyone else is like tired. I mean, not much. I don't need this much. Not much point in me going on tonight with. Uh, Everyone else is leaving. Especially when I'm nearing the end of my limits. Ugh. Tomorrow I'll probably get a stream. Unless I feel like I can make a video. I, I kind of want to have what I... Like, I want to have, like, everything done for the next video so I can just talk about it. If we're If I'm going to do just, like, city planning stuff for the next video. Gosh. Nose itches. I know you're up all night. Well, I don't know that because you keep telling me that your your work schedule is going to change. And I don't know. You've told me that multiple times. I don't know if you've actually changed multiple times or if it like keeps not happening or what. But it's hard to keep track of your schedule. Do I have Skype Discord? That's, no, not really. That's something that I got to work. I have Twitter, and that's, like, I haven't used Twitter a whole lot before, and so now I'm, like, I try to use it for the channel. Um, I've never used Instagram. I have a personal Snapchat. Um, I would actually give it away if it wasn't my full name and just my full name. <laughs> um, and Discord... I that kind of stuff I think I would do eventually, but um, I don't think I have quite the fan base to justify it. I think it would just be me chatting with like the same four or five people all the time. <laughs> it'd just be me and Spartan arguing about uh, the best way to uh, market <laughs> your uh, videos. <laughs> I just got invited to a server that Surfboy is on, so I'm putting my single player world on hold. Yeah, I used to get quite a few invites for servers. I haven't in a while now, come to think of it. Um, apparently people post... Okay, what's... Maybe you guys know this. What's the deal with Planet Minecraft? This is a site I've never used before, and I know that like a lot of people do use it. Um, apparently a lot of my stuff gets posted there. Like, I've seen people post my stuff before, and I've seen people, like, contact me, and they're like, Hey, uh, I've seen you on Planet Minecraft, or seen your stuff, or do you mind if I post your stuff on my Planet Minecraft? Like, why are people so interested in my stuff on that site when I'm not alone posting it? Fake names. Yeah, I should, like, uh, uh, obviously my first name is public, because I, um, it's in my Twitter handle. You're normally up all night, occasionally I'll fill in for someone, shift or have a funeral, otherwise I'm up all night. Word, my schedule's pretty awful, like, 
I don't have to be up all night, but I usually am. But yeah. Anyways, I used to get like, I think I created an account on Minecraft, I can't remember, but like, I used to have an account on the Minecraft forums, and I would get a lot of requests through there to join servers. And there's still a few guys who invited me, and, um, you know, they, they were bigger than me. I got some invites, and I wanted to really focus on this, because this was like my baby. And I was having, I remember at the time I was having a hard time putting out videos for this, finding time to... So I had to turn them down. And those, one of the guys, the guy who runs it, I don't know if he runs it, but he's the guy who invited me. Um, I still see him comment. He's one of the guys who comments a lot on my videos. Um, but I haven't gotten server invites in a while. I don't think I would unless uh, this sounds stupid, but unless they're a decent bit bigger than me, because I feel like I look at those servers of guys m around my size, and usually they're 75% inactive. Like, they make videos for a while, and then they stop. Like, a lot of channels around the same size as mine seem really inconsistent, and that's why they're this size. And, like, I don't want to get tied up with those with people that aren't going to, like, be active. And also those people seem to like always stay the same size. Doesn't seem to help them a whole lot. You can make your videos get posted automatically to Planet Minecraft. Is that like a helpful thing or is it like when I first started out I posted my videos to the Minecraft forum, official Minecraft forums and it got me maybe a view here and there. Like, when I was, Geckos was with me earlier, we were doing build studies of other people's builds um, on, on stream a little bit ago. And I was looking at um, Articraft, uh, you know, B-Dubs was talking about them. I think we, we discussed them a little bit. It's fun. And uh, all their map, or the map that I downloaded was off of Planet Minecraft. So, you know, they use it, and, you know, it was like, 15,000 downloads or something. So, someone's using it. It's just like linking videos. Yeah, okay. Might have to look into that. Because, like, if people are so interested in stealing my stuff for it, it must be good. Like, imagine if I'm actually the person posting that, or that's making that stuff. They'll really love it then. It's funny. I'm, I'm excited, though, to, like, see my own stuff pop up. Or, sometimes, there have been a few times where I've seen a post pop up on the Minecraft subreddit, Reddit, where it was, like, clearly a version of something that I had posted. Or, or a few times people have said that it was mentioned to me and said that it was, like, inspired by. It's a good feeling, actually. Like, you can copy it all you want. I'm not, I'm not making these videos so it's, and then saying that you can't make <laughs> the same things as me. Um, I prefer that people use their, my stuff as inspiration and, you know, put their own twist on it. But, are more than welcome to you. Go ahead and use stuff that I think of. That's exactly what I'm sharing. But when people post my crap on planet whatever, I better be getting something from it. Because they didn't even build their own version. They just took my pictures and videos. I'm with you on the server stuff. I say we start one up. With people that are dedicated to reach 10k subs in about 20 years. <laughs> right. But that was like, I get that. Like, that was something we did together. And you asked, I believe you asked me, like, 
if I wanted it or if you could put it in the world. Like, that was a collab project. But then there's, like, it's, like, one thing. Like, I posted the Golem. Um, that's, like, right over there. I posted that on the Minecraft subreddit. And I saw some people post versions of it. And it was, like, clearly different. And they made changes. And even a few changes where I was like, that's a pretty cool idea. But then Planet Minecraft, people just like posting my videos, like literally just screenshots that I took. Who's who's spending their day doing that, taking other people's stuff and spreading it? Like, what do they think that? I don't know. Things are strange. I should relog so that I'm not missing some floating blocks. Creative Commons. Yeah, you should. Like, I don't know how much it matters when you're a little guy. But, um... It's, it's a good thing to do. I mean, think of it this way. You look up, uh, like, montage or something of any YouTuber, really. It's not from that YouTuber, probably. It's from a fan. And thanks to Creative Commons. And... I mean, if someone wants to make a video of, like, top dumbest builds of Nodak Smack, and it gets 20,000 views, I'm like, cool. Thanks for the work. You made me a free video, basically. <laughs> yeah, Creative Commons is good. And guess what? It's taken me this long to get 300 subs. You're not going to get much out of it either. <laughs> Steal away. Hello, Robert. Oh, why was your message retracted? Spartan, did you have to kick someone's message or did, did it do that himself? Desert house is on a building. Th that desert house is on a building help app now called MC Pro. Dev, it's actually a pretty cool app. Wait, my build is on someone else's app? Is that a joke? <laughs> Why don't you tell me these things? The, the 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 desert build that you did or the one I did? Robert, why can't I see your message? Like I should be able to see that. <laughs> My channel's like, see you, Robert. You're out of here. Oh, you removed it. Oh, Robert doesn't want anything to do with me then. He's like, screw this guy. I was going to say hi, but no thanks. <laughs> Robert just hi and retracted himself, I guess. Dang, Robert. Oh, look. We did miss one. <laughs> Yeah, I should, like, um, do a reverse image search of the things I've posted to the Minecraft subreddit and, the like, all the things I've done well and see where they pop up. Because I guarantee you that some of the stuff has been shared around. Which is cool, I guess. Like, whatever. Here's where I pick, wish I picked up all that dirt because it doesn't even feel like you're doing much, but you can... Use the entire stack just by filling in crap like this. Let's fly on up and get a good look at what we're doing. Both of our finally edited builds are on that app that has people uploading my builds. Why didn't you tell me that? <laughs> like, I, obviously, I would have said yeah, but it's cool. Come on. Jeez, dude. Dang guy. Learn building. That's neat. Does it say my name? Desert houses built by anonymous YouTuber one and anonymous YouTuber two. All right. Um. So this is probably going to end up fairly flat. Maybe a little bit of fluctuations here and there, but. 
you know, like that. Or I'm not going to put one house up one block because of that. Um, these trees are pretty much all going to go. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I kind of don't want to go towards that swamp too much. So I'm thinking if the castle and if we put the castle here and like the rich part of the city here, um, then we can have like a market area here. Or what makes more sense to have a market area further or closer to the center of the city? I feel like further. Well, closer because when you expand, when you get new houses, they build on the outside, right? Hello, Ethan. <laughs> I am still streaming. We're four hours in. I don't know how much longer we're going, but yeah. It's not letting you log into Minecraft. Uh-oh. Got to get that uh, password right. That's a pain in the butt. I know that feeling of not knowing your password. <laughs> um, All my stuff. I still takes them all. I guess that was part of it. And easy. Nice. And just the letters, like NDS wouldn't even help anyway. <laughs> um, okay, so if, if this is a castle and like a rich part of town, if you think of most cities, like downtown is like the center of town. That's businesses. So maybe we have like a market area here or like, yeah, stores and stuff. And then we can stay away from the swamp over here. Like, if we're down here, we're never going to see that swamp. I mean, maybe if we're in a building high up, we're pretty much never going to see it. And that means that we won't have to go any further. I don't know. I I'm, I really don't like that hill. I might have to come down. But if we bring this... He grabs the NBT files. Oh, okay. Then over here, this is like a huge spot for actual houses. I think this is a really good spot for it. Possibly over here. Maybe something else. Um, and then something that we could do is somehow connect the castle. Oh, here's a good idea. Let's say that we remove this right here all the way through. So it's like a valley right here. Or we just remove this whole wall over here. The castle comes over here. I I think we could have a really good... So that you don't have to go through the market to get to the castle. We could have an entrance from the residential area straight to the castle through where this wall is currently. I think that's a pretty good plan. I don't know if we need to remove this or if we can make it into a wall, cover it up with a wall, cover it up with a gate, build a mountain. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. I'll just take the mountain and push it somewhere else. I mean, it's whatever. Um, it's not like it hurts me. I'm going to fix the river. Yes, I'm going to fix the rivers. Um, that's another day's project, though, because I don't like one one deep rivers. I'm going to have to, like, take a moment to, like, actually make these nice. And I'm going to, I'm going to, these cliff sides, I'm going to do custom terrain for all these cliff sides. That'll be a good video. Um... But yeah, this this will all get fixed. Like, come on. You're telling me that there's a river here and the water doesn't flow down here? 
Where do these rivers go? All the way over here. Okay. And then it doesn't connect. What sense does that make? I mean, come on. Doesn't connect. I mean, I guess that's not really a lake. It's, it looks like a river. But that waterfall. I want to fix the waterfalls, the lava pools. I hate lava pools. They're so ugly. This needs to be completely dug through. But it doesn't go... Okay, it doesn't go through here. And this should go straight to the ocean. And it does. So that's good. So yeah. Castle. Wealthy area. Market. Residential area. Bridge. 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 What meme? Did I say something? I feel like I said something. I don't remember what I said. Welcome back, Ethan. Lava pools are liquid cheese. They're ugly. Yeah, I think the plan's good. So I think the first step... We'll tackle this tomorrow, maybe, if I have a stream. The first step's going to be... I still don't know how I want the castle to look. Because I don't just want to build it into the wall like B-dubs did. Like, I want to do a proper castle and not just, like, cover the side of a mountain. Like, no offense, B-dubs, but you just covered a mountain. Um, but I've got to, like, do a lot of space management there. I'd like to, um... I think what we could do... I'm just going to place dirt for now. Well, okay. I'm going to remove all this. This is very temporary. Um, I have sort of a courtyard type deal in here. So like boxed in here, a somewhat courtyard deal. A gate between here the main bulk of the castle between here and then we have lots of room to get creative over here and i want to have let's save and quit go into my test world Sorry, that's probably really annoying. I don't care, though. Hey, look what it is. Um, I was testing out uh, miniature castles. Um, I don't really like this yet, because I don't like having one big tower in the middle. I think that's, like, super generic. But I do like the idea here. So imagine that this is like a courtyard area. And then there's a bridge with, you know, some sort of like, some sort of decorative walkway up coming up through the left side. Imagine this scaled up like 20 times. <laughs> um, so then you could go under that little bridge. And then down here would actually be some sort of interior good lord it sounds like someone just fell down here could be some sort of interior courtyard um and then you could access up a, a walk a section that you could walk on up here and then these these things with the um walls are like peaks to towers and this could be like a, another interior courtyard type thing. It was just like something I made 
in like two minutes. I think that I could play around. I think tomorrow we're going to play around with these a little bit. Especially now that I know what um, terrain I'll be working with. <sighs> well, it is 2 a.m. I think I'm about finished up. Thank you for hanging out. Made it much more fun. Um, I don't really know what my plan is tomorrow. If I do stream, I'll try to announce it on Twitter. I think you're both following me. Um, it'll probably be after dinner. Okay, so there's a movie at 2 that I'm going to. Dinner five or six, probably around eight or nine my time. Um, and it's two right now, so six hours prior to right now, around that time, I'll be aiming for. Good night, happy birthday. Thank you. I just closed out my Discord. I was saying you're still on the voice channel. That's funny. All right. How do you guys like the, the camera? Did that all work out well? It's just, it's literally just a crappy laptop camera. Nothing too special about it, but I figured, you know the green screen stuff? Is that like... A program thing that does that or is it the camera it's got to be the program right like you don't have to have a fancy camera to pick up green screens do you not sure something to look into um oh here's stuff that you guys might have never seen cam's good awesome I paid zero bucks for it came with the ugh. What was I thinking with this? This looks awful. I don't know. I like this. Not so much this. I do need the screen. I'm aware that I need the green. Thank you, geckos. Yeah, I actually did like this logo. This was my initial, initial um, draft for... So I have my jungle village, and I was initially going to have it be, like, a city with um, airship technology. And all, it would have, like, all these floating ships, like, up in the trees with their houses. And, like, people would have their, like, little individual planes. I made a tutorial. This is one of my first tutorials I made, um, these little planes here. I really like them, actually. Um, I still like the, the concept of that city. I just, it just didn't go down that way. I ended up going with, with these, uh, yurt style houses. I know you got the airships. Our style actually wasn't that different other than yours being much bigger. It actually wasn't a whole lot different. You can see I do a lot of stupid testing around here. Lots of stuff. I even got this house that never ended up doing anything with. I actually don't mind the house, though. It's alright. This was... I made this before I started YouTubing. It was like um, something I was going to build in my own world. All by myself. I've got stuff all over. It's really not that full here. I don't build a whole lot in here. Just have a solid color behind you that you're not wearing. Does it not have to be green? I mean... Yeah, word. Like my... Uh, me testing redstone here. This is me trying to teach myself how to do a door. Um, I believe it only worked one way. 
Oh no, oh yeah, it only uh, it works one way. <laughs> That's funny. I'm not really sure why. Um, I also wanted to use these to get around, but... And what's this? Ah, a uh, T flip flop. <laughs> That's the extent of my uh, redstone. That's fine. Anyways, yeah, tomorrow I think I'll aim to work on actual planning and uh, castle planning. It does not need to be green. Well, I think I'd have to buy something anyway. I like all the blankets I have or sheets I have or multiple colors. I like don't have room here. Like. I have a bed right behind me. A redstone master. Hey, you've been working on a on it a week, and from what you've told me, you're probably not much better. That's funny. All right. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you tomorrow, hopefully. I'll send out a tweet. Oh, look at that! Just as I'm about to finish up the stream, someone else joins us. Um. Hi, new guy. I'm about to leave. Uh, yeah, catch me around uh, um, 8 or 9 o'clock Central Time. You're way worse than that? That's like, that's like all I know how to do. And I'd have to go back and look at it to figure out how to do it. <laughs> Alright, thank you for watching, everybody. Bye.